but these are very tricky maps and both players are kind of known to enjoy that. Oof, we are already in game number one. The Viper versus started with Chinese versus Vietnam. And with those civilizations, you're going to tell me what you prefer here. Let's check right now Chinese civilization. So Chinese obviously starting with, uh, in these settings, uh, three villagers more compared to the standard uh, civilizations. And additionally, they start with minus 100 food. So uh, the start is extremely awkward for them as you have to put everything on food. And uh, obviously your goal is to minimize the idle TC time as much as possible for the Chinese. Uh, obviously, Chinese uh, have also the lower costs in their technologies, right? So that's very helpful. Chinese, in general, uh, very, very flexible SIF. And man, we see a pause right now. Yeah, well, it's fine. Might be something technical, and then we can keep it talking about the SIFs. And now we yeah. can focus, for example, in Vietnam civilization, that with this 100% bone, I mean, how many Chinese so has huge. got this civilization? Yeah. You remember, there was trash in the start, they, then they, yeah. they have changed so many, and now it's big. Pretty much every time that is not banned. Vietnamese, I, I feel like it is a little bit underrated, honestly, because because it is so extremely strong and the 100% uh, faster eco upgrades, in addition to their no wood cost, is such a big, big thing. And uh, obviously also more HP on the range units. And Chinese, yeah, they can do both ways, right? They can go uh, cavalry, they can also go for the ranged units. However, uh, with Chinese, you would rather go for the range units as that's where they excel in the post imp as well and therefore I think Vietnamese in this uh, situation should be a little bit uh, favorite uh, here uh, however you know both civs have their strengths here so it's going to be a very close one I'm pretty sure about that look at the viper this does hand is is working good right no it's like uh, if average. I, it feels like average if you, yeah it's like your keyboard right uh, no not mine <laughs> <laughs> not mine I'm telling you I love yeah. you too <laughs> Uh, but it feels like uh, he has played this game uh, before. Yeah, and then we check the the other point of view because the viewers love to see the POV from the players. That they're not pushing already the DS. The start is usually in this map, well, pretty much the same, right? Like pushing all the economy yeah. is chill a little bit. Yeah. Gold and stone are out of this mini base, let's say that I like to call it, that you can wall and put all the farms here. Yeah. But uh, you have to go outside. That's what yeah. it makes this map also that uh, aggression, early aggression, depend also if they are so far away from each other. It can be very, very big confusing or just to get map control. Uh, usually you want to get map control because uh, on, on the professional level, most of the time, full feudal play is uh, not going to work as... Uh, People have become so good at defending. Uh, also, something to mention here on this map uh, is also a little bit uh, specific for this map, as people don't opt to go for Loom before uh, they reach Feudal Age, as uh, everything is very safe here. You can also quick wall your or pre wall your villager on the mill. So, very fast uptimes, 19 villagers without Loom, and uh, yeah, both players opt to go for the stable here. So, we will see some uh, scout shenanigans between the both of them and uh, adding some spears. and. Yeah, it's all about getting uh, the initiative and the map control here. So we can expect here a long game, uh, Mr. Jordan? You know, I would not be surprised as both players are very similar in terms of their play style. None of them is really known for their super hyper aggression. Uh, both really excel, especially on their macro uh, part decision uh, making and also, uh, you know, defensive play style. So uh, I expect this one to be a little bit longer and uh, yeah, the other maps are not going to be <laughs> quicker. <laughs> so okay. uh, I hope uh, everyone is ready. <laughs> Uh, the question is, be. are you ready? Uh, of course. Okay. Oh, of course, man. After two, se two series win, you are ready, man. You yeah, are really yeah, ready. Yeah. Um, okay. We have now the Viper with the Scout. Oh, Ooh, we, we didn't come. It was close. It yeah. was fast. You are hype, man. I can feel it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. Guys, you don't see him, but he's just he's moving all the time, man. He's getting nervous. Let's let's he's go. moving all the time. He's even jumping right now. Let's go. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, energy is always good. Yeah, I always see. Good to have. You got infected for someone, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, Chinese and Vietnam. But I didn't ask you the question. And the question is, who you think is going to win this series? Uh, the series itself, I think... Yeah. I actually go for, for Tato, and let me explain that one. Because yesterday Viper didn't seem to have the best performance. And uh, I played uh, games against both of them. Uh, in these games, it felt like Tato was a little bit more on point. Uh, so I think he will, uh, you know, have a little bit of a better 
uh, mental state here. But you know, Viper is, is Viper. Uh, it's it's hard to to go against him. So overall, I would say three two for for Tado. Okay. But uh, as already mentioned, it's going to be a little bit of a longer one, I suppose. Yeah, I said the same prediction as you. But after watching the series today, except you, uh, everyone else has changed their performance with uh, yeah. with yesterday. Yeah. Yo, look at freaking Andy, and now let's see the Viper because we see the first big engagement here with the Viper with many scouts. Uh, well, a scout and a spears for both players, but I like it that Tato keep the Viper away from his face. Yeah, yeah. So you can see that Tato is the one uh, having the initiative and also <laughs> very, very uh, late loom. So that's also something which is, you know, dicey to a certain degree, but uh, it felt like Tato had everything under control. Uh, adding the archer range now as well. And if I'm not mistaken, Viper already has the archer range. He has two archers out already. Or is that... Uh, no, he's yeah, yeah, yeah. queuing that up, no, right? It's in the queue. It's yeah, it's in the queue. So both players are playing exactly the same. And it's not really, uh, you know, surprising as both civilizations work very similar in that regard. And uh, Viper already going for the wheelbarrow. It's, it's rather quick, I would say. But that's kind of what he's known for, right? And we have an engagement here. Yeah, it's quite fast, yes. The archer range is up now for Tatot. He doesn't have yet the archers, but I was about to say that if he's not doing archer, archer range, he will need a tower there. But since he has the archer range, he's all fine. And then economy, uh, they should go up pretty even, right? I mean, yes. at least that they get a bad engagement here, which is not happening. Look at the KD. It seems that a lot of things are happening. Zero, zero. Yeah, they're just poking here and there, right? Uh, and uh, none of them wants to do uh, some something very... Uh, a uh, risky thing, right, because they both are very confident in their uh, play and we see an engagement coming in here, but I think so far it should be equal as we have the same scout numbers here for both players and uh, bad hits here for, for Viper. So Tato must be very happy with uh, how the engagement has gone so far. Yeah, look at those scouts, very, very low HP, he needs to go back. How many arches? Viper 3 fletching already. That's something. I mean, if he's now massing similar numbers and just now, only now, he's doing the Blasmid and look at the Viper economy. So right now is the time for the Viper to go. The problem here is that we see the whole thing. They don't. Yeah. He doesn't know if he has fletching and how he's going also with the economy. Yeah. And that's something that we should remind more often, Mr. Jordan. Yeah, I mean, uh, with our perspective, it's a little bit easier to make the judgments and uh, to make the decisions there. But... Uh, Keep in mind, the players don't have that vision, so it's everything is based on feeling and all the scouting information they uh, they have. So, yeah, Fletching was delayed very heavily by Tato, but now he knows that uh, he is forced to do so, otherwise he will take some damage here. Okay, he takes the spear. He's now going to commit with the arches. Fletching yet not there, but he's going to be in time. The scouts are coming, and now he's going to fight even with the village. They, there is where now those scouts with very low HP. It's oh. matted. Look at the Queen Wolves Whoa. right now. Okay, those arches are still alive, but very good move here by Tato. That, that was such a good move because there were four arches here about to escape, but Tato said, no, not in my house. If you enter, you're not allowed to leave. And that's exactly how he managed to get those four archer kills. And yeah, I mean, Tato is on point. He's uh, showing that he's ready to play here, man. He's really, really ready with the micro, but the Viper is ready with the macro. He's on the way mm -hmm. to Castle. It's already not too far, Tato, to click up. But, you know, I mean, uh, depend how much army you have. And if you're going to get some upgrade in time, one minute uh, can be a lot. Yeah, one minute uh, can be a lot for sure. The good thing for Tato is that he killed the initial archers from Viper, so the timing attack uh, in the beginning of Castle Age is not going to be as strong as it could have been for Viper. So that was very uh, good for, for Tato here. And we can see both players are adding the second archer range that has been added already. And uh, as the game gets longer, we see both players, you know, their heart is pumping a little bit more as, uh, you know, there's a little bit more things to do in yes, Fuel Age and Castle Age. And, uh, Pressure's on. Do you have the watch uh, properly connected during, during their series? Do you, we thought that you were going to fall asleep. We were playing. <laughs> I mean, 3-0 and it was like 6. And what, this guy's dead. <laughs> Call an ambulance. Jordan, <laughs> what's happening here? Uh, anyway, with double archer range and more HP for Vietnam archers, is this better for Vietnam? In general, it should be favorites, uh, favorites for Vietnam. And man, look at that. Uh, Tato has a timing or a surprise attack here and he's killing a lot of villagers here and yeah, Viper has nothing to defend right now. Yeah, two villages are down. Another Archie is now coming to defend. The scouts are there. He's doing the damage and the good thing here is that with the Viper being up quicker, as you mentioned before, it's not going to make too much damage. I mean, the army is 
going to be there, but I believe that Tatot has army to defend. Those are still good. You see, Tatot has a lot of army at home. So even if you get the Krobos and the Botkin Arrow, this will be fine, I, will, uh, I think so. Yeah, and I uh, also, I mean, Viper will clean this one up here, and uh, that's not a big deal for Tato, as uh, this was kind of a throwaway uh, initial aggression here. And I love the way how uh, Tato has built up his base, right? Uh, in theory, unfortunately, he just is not in time if the cast stage is fast as uh, Viper, and therefore Viper is capable of uh, dealing a little bit of damage here. But uh, Tato has done a very good job here, not really losing any villager here, but it could change here. Uh, it is a little bit too, too dicey for Viper to uh, jump in here, right? Quick walls yeah. and you lose all your army. Yeah, for the addition, he's just going a little bit. He's going back, hit and back, hit and back. He still have one upgrade more. He has the crossbows. Now he's going to have the crossbows as well. Tato, Tato still has more army. And the most important, Jordan, the reinforcement is there. So uh, as soon as he put two arches more out of those RT ranges, uh, the Viper need to go back completely. Yeah, completely. And uh, I, I think both players are going to be very satisfied with uh, how that went. Uh, Tato, as he was the defender, uh, he didn't uh, get any damage, so that was good for him. And Viper, you know, he was poking, he was hoping for a little bit of uh, uh, damage here, village call or something like that. He was very close to that, but it did not happen as Tato was on point here. And we see a very interesting thing already. Um, we see... Tato going for lead skirms already, so he doesn't really want to engage in those crossbow microbores. Uh, I mean, Viper is one of the best in those, so uh, I understand his decision. And uh, also, uh, it, their playstyle is so similar, right? It's, uh, very defensive, um, very eco-focused. Both have a second wood upgrade. They have heavy plow. Wheelbarrow is in already as well. And yeah, very equal game so far, man. And with the advantage here for Vietnam that even if Elite Skimmers is an expensive upgrade since you don't have to use wood for bows or heavy plow or anything. You are saving all those resources you can spend in, in, in something else, like this case is uh, Skirmishes. And now, how the Viper can do damage to his opponent. He's doing Elite Skirmishes as well, okay, but he does have the numbers in it with the Skirmishes. Well, he will eventually, but uh, you know, who has the advantage here? Ballistic for Tartot faster than the Viper. That Viper has the university, yes, he has, he's there it is, but no wooden yet, Mr. Jordan. And Ballistics right now, it is obviously nice, however, it's not the most important upgrade to go for, right? It's not like you have 10 crossbows against 10 crossbows, uh, early cast age, where everything is fragile and it is everything about uh, winning the crossbow fight here. Um, yeah, so Tato with the second Archer armor upgrade, Viper has that already, and uh, he's just uh, trailing behind in terms of the ballistic upgrade for 15 seconds there. I mean, the game cannot be closer. I yeah. mean, look at the population doing all the armies, going for the same army, the same approach, but right now the Vipers who have a lot more army is gonna take so many units here. The Snake with also one knight to kill those skirmishes. He took a lot, but even like that, army numbers still so close. Is Viper gonna notice this? He will, that this is there, so he should lose Pretty much anything, Mr. Jordan. Yeah, it's just uh, both players are uh, trading here just a little bit, right? But nothing really crucial has been done here in terms of the damage. And uh, also both players going for skirms is kind of an indicator as well, saying, hey, I I'm fine uh, playing the long long game here. Uh, I feel comfortable there. And I just want to defend with those skirmishers, um, get into the Imperial Age with a very healthy economy and take it from there. But uh, it feels like Viper is always trying to take a little bit more uh, the initiative here also on the right hand side now. Okay, I see some micro there, but 30C, he's coming to the right side. Uh, the Viper is gonna achieve something. He has some army here, let's see, because he's quite a lot of army together, while all the armies is spread from Tato, but he's attacking at the same time, taking some value with those units. He put him away from the goal, so he need to go for another goal. I don't know if he can see that goal at the bottom, close to the TC. But uh, we will find out in a moment. For now, there is a battle. He can see this. Yes, he can. And with uh, with the Chinese, even more, of course. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. Population is still the same. I mean, they both are killing each other units. It's incredible how Back close that game is uh, right now, right? Uh, both at 63 villagers. We have both with uh, 18 or 19 armies. So it couldn't be closer right now at this stage of the game. And that's just a perfect example of uh, how close both players are. And uh, you know, the plays are very similar there. And um, yeah, it feels like Viper is getting a little bit of initiative here at Tato's base and he's also defending very nicely with the Knight at home. So, uh, right now I feel like Tato is a little bit behind here um, in terms of map, map control. If we take a look at the relics, none have been collected just, uh, just now and uh, Viper usually likes to do that as fast as possible. So, 
He, it, it kind of really shows that he wants to focus on different things right now. Okay, and as we can see, the population now is starting to change. It's, it's increasing. It's increasing quite some in the last two minutes. More villains for the Viper. A yeah. lot more army now for the Viper as well, who is cleaning in his, at his base. At home, he still have some army that is bringing back now to get all together. And this amount of army now is scary. All together. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, Jordan is so hype, man. Jordan is so hype. Never seen this before to Jordan. This is not a smiley face. It's a hype. Party face. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, Party face. Nelly, bring the new castles. We're going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not yet. Not Later yet. after this series, okay? I mean, we have to party right in front yeah, of yeah. us, right? Uh, All right. It's, it's a nice game so far. and. Uh, right now, it feels like Viper has done a little bit of a better job in his army usage. Uh, you can see 44 uh, kills uh, versus the 36 uh, death here. Of course, not a big thing, but uh, you know, it's something to point out. All oh, gold shaft mining incoming as well. So, uh, Viper is, you know, stepping it up a little bit compared to yesterday, and uh, he's really, really focusing on uh, getting the nice economy. Oh, Handcart is insane here. Also, yeah. how cheap it is. You save all the wood. How fast you you, you get crazy. that upgrade is is fantastic. Yeah. Focus a little bit in the late game because it looks like this is going to go for Imperial. Yeah. What do you prefer here, China or Vietnam? Because Vietnam having bombard cannons as well. Ouch. You Ouch. always in in these kind of situations uh, feels like Vietnamese should always be uh, the favorite civilization here, as uh, you mentioned, bombard cannons. They also have Imperial Skirmisher, uh, which is such a beautiful unit, especially if you fight against uh, ranged civilization, which Chinese is. So uh, I think Viper needs to uh, play a cast age aggression. He goes for Bloodlines right now. What I would like to see for him right now is more stables added, go for plus two armor, and really put on the pressure as much as possible. Siege Workshop, ideally also a, a castle as a follow-up. But uh, yeah, Castle is uh, at, at home, as uh, Vodka the is showing right now. There. The stables are there yeah. with the castle, but very far for doing any damage. And Siege Workshop doesn't look like an option right now. Oh, he took those farms or he deleted? I think he deleted. I think it was a deletion. Not sure, but yeah, I yeah. suppose. I think he deleted. Population got closer again. It got closer and closer. 124, 121 is almost the same. How about the resources? Oh, man, that Vietnam economy now with the hand cart is looking healthy, really healthy. But 40 farmers for the snake. And the snake is not, well, he's doing now a couple of nights. But do you think that he will go heavily in, in Castle Age? Keep booming a lot, but... Uh, a lot of farming, he's doing that, right? Uh oh, he's going for that. Uh, the knights need to. Uh oh, the mangonel, the mangonel. If he see, if he tattoo see, he can make a good shot, and I think he might do the job. But the viper react accordingly. Really nice. He's taking out the mangonel. He is avoiding the the second one, and with the knights and the skirmishes, he's pushing back. And look at the stone. Jordan is not only on point playing, also with the casting because chain barding armor is coming, and a castle probably forward from the viper. I, I just hope to see that, right? Because initially his plan was with the castle on the left-hand side to uh, defend that area and then focus everything on the right-hand side. However, he is a little bit late, right? And uh, we see Imperialization incoming for uh, Tato so far. So, yeah, it, it was okay for Viper, but uh, he, he has not dealt the damage which he was uh, originally planning to do. And right now, Tato, you know, he has the skirms in the front to tank the shots from the skirmish of the Viper. Then also the, the range or the crossbows from... Uh, Tattoo behind to kill the knights, but yeah, this is obviously a nice find map. Yeah, he's trying to deny the castle, and I think he will because those units has Botkin, he has ballistic, he's doing the castle. Um, I was about to say, I was about to, you know, to say, it's called that. It's a yeah. chicken, man. It's a chicken, <laughs> Jordan, man. I mean, I mean, I know that you love the Viper. I love the Viper. Everyone loves the Viper, but push that castle forward a little bit. I think you have to, right, in that uh, Civ matchup, because Vietnamese is always going to be strong here. And uh, I just. I just think, like, you know, Viper has played Chinese uh, quite some time in his life, so usually a his... Uh, a little bit, right? Uh, so his usual uh, way of, do, uh, you know, just playing this uh, this way is light calves, you have uh, skirms or arbalists, depending on what you go for. I guess Vietnamese, I guess it makes more sense to have skirms there. And then Sea Tram. Sea Tram is going to be the most important unit here for for the Viper, as, uh, you know, Vietnamese, they don't have access to them, uh, to, to Sea Trams themselves. 
and uh, with siege jumps, you can really force the issue. And, uh, you know, with bombard cannons, y you kind of struggle if you have low numbers to defend against siege jumps. So, um, yeah, we see light cuff upgrade uh, incoming right now, hand card, also iron casting. So, everything is lining up here. Uh, let's see what uh, Viper will be able to translate because his opponent is up faster. Yeah, but he has all the upgrades, and right now, the snake, 61 farmer. Yeah. That's a lot of farms to go and really, really aggressive. And now he's going to try to commit before he's doing the upgrade. This is exactly what he needs to do. The castle is closed and Tatot knows that why he's trying to split those units and send into the castle before he's getting the upgrade. But man, I think this is a very, very, very nice battle for the Viper. Don't know what you think. 100%. Uh, he was able to clean so much army uh, from Tato before the upgrades really hit in there. So beautiful timing here. Uh, Tato has done a little bit of a misstep here being out in the open uh, without any protection here and also very important chemistry hit right away upon reaching a privilege from Tato so he wants to have access to uh, the bomber cannons in theory also bomber towers could be an option here on enclose not too bad actually and uh, yeah uh, obviously adding uh, extra damage here for What's happening? The relics for the Viper! Whoa! My relics! Whoa, whoa, whoa. My relics! Yeah, we miss huge. it! I mean, when he's doing all these, all the yeah. armors, all five relics, and yeah. this is then the nice question. I know that he has halberd this, but the Viper need Cavalier, I believe, because yeah, of such a mountain army. In yeah. skirmishes, yeah. like Cavalier should, should be the, the way to go. Population is still higher for Tatot, but five relics, how this happen? And now that, that engagement here for the Snake without upgrade, without plus four or anything, and he's taking a lot. Look at the military numbers. The Viper is housed, and he will be otherwise 200 population right now. Mm, yeah, that's that's just so good for him. And also now the Calf Army is coming in as well. So that's such an important upgrade uh, for for any unit, right, or for the calf unit, if uh, they are fighting against the range units, because now we can see even the Imperial Skirmish are just shredding those cavalry because they don't have the armor upgrade. It will soon change in 45 seconds, and you know, <coughs> with the cast on the right hand side, Viper has he, I suppose, did not expect that Tato is going for the raid here, and uh, that is a nice idea. However, it's not gonna work, man. It's no. not gonna work. No, no, no. It's, it's wall, <laughs> and I think Viper is is also. Nice with the quick walls as well, so he make all the houses. The plus four is not yet there. If he was with the plus four, I think he will clean everything. He's very close to do it, even without the plus four, but he's not gonna make the damage. As you can see, he's also trying to raid the castle in the north for the snake. I like it a little bit more, like a lot yes. more now from yes. the Viper. As you can see, Botka put it out there, and if you Make the traps now, it's gonna start to get the map control. It is so essential for Viper right now to get the traps out as soon as possible, pump them out, because you need to force the issue. You need to trap down the castles, especially we just saw uh, Retina Arches, Elite uh, uh, Retina Arches was being researched. So Tato is really uh, about to go for a very strong unit composition, which Chinese is really struggling against. So Ta uh, Viper is on the timer here and he needs to enforce the issue. 200 population, the good thing here is that with the Cavalier upgrade, and right now it's not so many knights, it's 13 knights, but how many how many spears? It's a spears what he got, Tatot. He got zero spears. Zero spears. And zero upgrades in the infantry. So if he's going now with Cavaliers and Trebuchet, how do you stop that? And he has already three on the field. Yep, so that's very late for him and also a big blunder in my opinion. Okay, so the village account was 155 for Tato, so that's also a bit of an overboom. He reduced that number to 140. I still think it's a little bit too much. You want to be around 120, 125 in these kind of situations uh, once you're maxed out. And uh, yeah, army advantage clearly for the Viper, 72 against 46. He, it feels like man, he's also the one with the initiative, right? So that's where... Oh, the traps, the traps, the Villa Viper, what are you doing? Sorry, Jordan, but he's hitting the castle with the Trebuchet, okay? He lost yeah. one, almost losing a second one. This is how difficult it is to manage everything at the same time. But yep. even like this, he's cleaning quite a lot of military, Mr. Jordan. Absolutely. I mean, that with the traps uh, happened to me a couple of times already as well. And now we see the most important unit for Tato here, the Bomber Cannon. Bomber Cannon is so good at just repelling uh, the trebuchet there. But uh, the problem is Tato's army is not really where it has to be now. And the two Bomber Cannons went down and Viper doesn't have any, uh, any hurdle or obstacle anymore to take down the Northern Castle. And uh, from there also being able to push, he needs the siege ram uh, technology though. That's going to be so, so helpful for him. For people that is watching, you might wonder why you are hyping 
if the Viper is behind in the score. He's behind in the score because he's losing more expensive units, Tom Cavaliers, but right now he's taking the castle, he's taking map control, military yeah. numbers is in his favor, population is still ahead for Tatot, so that overboom that you were talking about, by the way, Jordan telling that someone is overbooming when you, you make 150 villas every single game. Is no, really? Well, when you let people go to Imperial, not today. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I did that. Okay. <laughs> you say it, not Maybe. today. Oh, okay. Not today. I shouldn't say anything then. <laughs> you will see. It. The tournament is not over, Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. see now this. <laughs> That's a, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah, I like Trevich that one. is taking the TC, and now with that army, he's gonna take the Arbalest. It will take it, no? I don't, yeah, it's too many Arbalest right there. I'm a little bit surprised. I mean, how many casters does uh, Tato have right now? I guess only this one remaining. Oh no, he has two. So he had the Elite Retin Archer um, technology completed. However, he's not really producing them uh, too much. Uh, more the focus on Arbalest. And that kind of tells that his game plan was a little bit... Uh, you know, struck by Viper's aggression here. Oh my god, I mean, do you think the Viper listened about the chicken castle? Look at the castle he's trying to do now. I mean, uh, yeah. he, 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 okay. he wants to take uh, revenge here, ma'am. Yeah, okay, he deleted because he see the castle. All right, now he keep coming. Uh, it's only 113 villages. Look how much army the Viper is doing with, in quotes, so little villages. Uh, Abs yeah, Jordan. absolutely. And uh, that's the scary thing about playing against the Viper because the, the spot he is right now, you can also kind of uh, take a glimpse at his heart rate, 50 only. Like, it feels like he's 100% in his comfort zone and uh, very, he's very game. chill, right? So, he's game. GG. GG. It was such a dominant performance by the Viper. And, man, it was, you know, you, you look at the game, you rewatched it, and you can ask yourself the question, where did it go wrong for Tato? Because the game was, throughout the entire time, so, so close. And all of a sudden, we see Viper taking good engagements, therefore able to snowball, therefore able to get the map control, and that's what he was capitalizing on. Did he need infantry? He was missing infantry? Maybe Imperial Skimmer said was not needed, because at the end, the Viper was having the mostly cavalry. You need to have a little bit of halberdiers against the calf, for sure. Uh, and it felt like... The Imperial Skirmish attack was uh, way too fast, right? Uh, Tato went forward with uh, the skirms on the southern part, uh, kind of suicided them. And uh, it is a very expensive upgrade. I think around 800, 900 resources. Uh, the people are a little bit smarter in that regard than me. Uh, but it is, to me. <laughs> it is, it is, to me. it is expensive, right? And uh, that is also a showcase uh, how important very small details on this high level are because 800 resources gone, not being able to invest to it somewhere else. And to do anything, because what yeah. he achieved with that. Yeah. Maybe he was expecting more more Chukunos and so on, but he was going with a lot of with a lot of cavalry. Very strong yeah. performance today. I didn't I couldn't watch uh, the Viper game that did he play it uh, this way yesterday? Yeah. Yeah. No 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 no. Uh, I, I I was told it was not I was not watching the games as well because I was sleeping. Okay. But uh, <laughs> yeah, he said himself he was not one hundred percent in terms of the, the, the focus, but we can see right now uh, that is uh, as focused as Viper can play and uh, he showcased that and you know, when when I have to describe those those uh those games or the, the situation, it felt like Viper was decisive in what he wanted to do. And uh, Tato, with Vietnamese, you have so much different uh, options that he didn't have the decisiveness in him and that can cost you the game. This was doubt, guys, passing, passing here, you know, it was doubt. He gave me a, a smirk. Is it called smirk, ma'am? I shouldn't ask you for English. Don't ask me. <laughs> uh, I, mean, I mean, don't ask me. Uh, it is, I can it ask is. you for no, no, Spanglish. It, it is, it is. It <laughs> yeah, is yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> man, Jordan, who d why do you not know, right? <laughs> Stop uh. trolling me, man. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're going to see now what? Oh, we have already. Oh, 40. I like it. Quick. quick. This, is, this is usually fast games. 25 minutes if you want to go to sleep, right? F 15. 15 minutes? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. So Double guys rest and game over? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So usually right. on this map uh, we have, I think we have never seen a game going over 20 minutes here, so this is going to be a very quick one. And uh, I think, you know, Hindustanis against uh, Burgundians. Burgundians usually that civilization that uh, tries to capitalize on the early economy upgrades and uh, plays for the long game, but as this map usually doesn't go long, I, you know? The last time mm -hmm. that the last time that Tatot played this map was in uh, in the Middle East tournament. That was mm -hmm. exactly NAC five settings mm -hmm. against ACCM. Yeah, Tatot was 2-0 leading those series, and uh, he lost this game after 
ladies and gentlemen, three hours of gameplay in this map. So there was a game over 20 minutes on this map? It seems so. Okay. It seems so. Okay. Well, I mean Civilization was uh, Burgundians. Burgundians versus Hans. Yes, yes. ACCM went with the Hans, but Hans is not Hindustanis. I believe that Hindustanis is even better than Hans against Burgundians. Uh, or not? What do you think? I, I think it is very tricky, and I have the feeling that both civilizations on these close maps are very, very similar because. With Burgundians, you have the... Okay, let's talk about Hindustanis first. So their villager costs are reduced, right? Minus 8% in Dark Age, minus 13 in Fuel Age, and blah, blah, blah. So you can read it here yourself. Camel Riders attack 20% faster as well. Gunpowder units, and that's a b very, very important thing to, to note here. And uh, we will see a lot of gunpowder units in this matchup because both civilizations have an advantage in the gunpowder. The bombard cannons and the hand cannoneers for Burgundians are stronger. And for Hindustanis, they have s nine range instead of the seven. That's so, so important on uh, these close maps. And uh, yeah, so also have more armor. Uh, Burgundians on the other side, they have uh, stronger gunpowder units. They have 25% uh, extra attack on that. <coughs> As already mentioned, the economy upgrades, which you can go for one age early compared to the other civilization. So if you really go for the greedy playstyle, which is very likely to happen on these kind of maps, as it is very easy to ball, um, you have a you know, strong economy compared to other civilizations here. Uh, also very nice for uh, these close maps is that the stable technologies are 50% cheaper and the stable technologies are important as, uh, you know, fighting for the relics with lightcaps is uh, just a normal thing to do. And uh, yeah, both players, uh, they, they go up very fast. We have uh, 19 population versus the 20 for Tato and Viper. So uh, just a little bit of a difference here. Tato with the wall already. So he doesn't want to have any shenanigans whatsoever in uh, the back of his base. And uh, Viper very confident he has everything open. But usually it's unlikely to go really feudal <coughs> aggression here. Maybe you can send some militias. Or some people has gone with some scouts to get some map control yeah. and they still get very, very quick up. But other than that, is to go for castle approach, right? Yeah, most of the time it is castle, uh, castle age play as uh, it is rather easy to wall. And if you, yeah, we actually see uh, Viper going for the stable here. And uh, is that surprising too, man? He's going to scout then. At least the Viper, what we were talking, is going to go scout. But that's going to be a villager down. There's no loom. He's going to quick wall. No. No quick wall. Oh boy. Uh, beautiful uh, pickoff by Tata, and he knows exactly the way Viper likes to play those kind of maps, right? And we already see him uh, in the point of view. He is active. You know, he sees the skirm there, uh, skirm the, the spear, obviously uh, circumventing that one, and he tries to go for another kill here, man. And we still don't have Loom here. Is there a quick wall coming? No. But the spear is here to defend, and yeah, Tato doesn't even focus on that anymore because he knows Viper is not going to have a slip off here. Now we are on the Viper POV. Okay. Okay. The microphone a little bit. Now it's fine. Okay. Man, Tato is chilling 44 uh, heartbeats. So, you know, as he is fully walled, man, it's not going to happen that he has to react really quick right now. He has the scout in the front. And just from the opening, I prefer Tato's position so much more because he's the one who was able to kill one villager from a Viper and he's the one who's fully walled. So he knows exactly there is not going to be any any uh, problem for him now. And, and uh, the economy average. Yeah. yeah. The economy average already. Yeah. Heavy flow and Bozo, while well, the Viper don't even have horse collar. I mean, yeah. he has the cheaper village all right. But uh, yeah, for the l really late game, which one do you prefer? Because we were talking about the hand cannon who plus two extra, but also the, the siege having siege engineer can be massive. It can be massive. Uh, however, I prefer Burgundians here because the combination of hand cannoneer, halberdier, and paladin could be very, very strong here. And Hindustanis, they kind of struggle against that combination, right? Uh, depends uh, very much on how many cal camels you're able, able to, to get with the hand cannoneers. So, for Hindustanis, you play camels plus uh, hand cannoneer, and for Burgundians, you have paladin, hand cannoneer, and halberdiers, with obviously both uh, sifts with the bombard cans. Sounds like too much gold for Hindustanis to to invest, right? Yeah, yeah, like that's uh, that's a lot. Uh, right. Anyway, this map got remember nine relics, five in between the players, then usually another four. Well, two on the l on the left, two on the right, maybe three one distribution. Right now, I see three on the left and one on the right side. So important the relics as well. Imagine one with 7-2, for example. 
that would be devastating for the player uh, having the two two relics there because especially thinking about Burgundians, you want to challenge them getting those relics because they don't even they don't only get gold but they also get the food trickle mm -hmm. i think it's called trickle but yeah so um, yeah, you, you want to fight for the relics, right? Uh, for sure. Okay. It's doing the market now. N and now the question is, is it easier to wall yourself and just go directly to castles and to avoid all this? I mean, it's, it's possible to wall here. It is possible, right? And uh, we see a lot of players have a different uh, approach to that one. Uh, the GL guys usually go for a little bit of uh, faster fuel age and then play it safe. Uh, other players like to go for the castle age. So uh, I'm not really sure what is the best approach here as uh, investing into early walls as well to keep you safe uh, while going for castle age can be uh, uh, hurtful for your economy. So it's very hard. Nah, nah, which nah, nah. which one would you prefer? Nah, nah. The one that you prefer too, but you keep it now. Okay. Now you are not GL, so now you keep for yourself. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> uh, I will tell you in, uh, in, in breakfast. private. Okay, okay, breakfast. okay. okay. Uh, yeah. I think fast castle, obviously if you get some damage, but fast castle here seems to be really doable, and then you can have a second TC quite fast. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, I mean, we, we, we see it a little bit now that uh, two approaches are a little bit different, right? We see uh, Viper opting to go f a little bit more investment into the army. Uh, gotta keep in mind, Hindustanis have a little bit more attack on their scouts and, and, and camels as well against buildings, so you can al force the issue a little bit more here. But, uh, you know, Tata is too good. And if we take a look at the resources, we see Viper up faster. Up faster, yeah. I mean, at the end, the longer the games is go here in Fidel is the most you are saving with the village discount. So it seems that this worked very well because both are having similar military, even more oh. scouts from from the Viper. So just look at the army numbers. What happened? Uh, did you see the facial expression from the Viper? He realized right now that he didn't have horse color. Okay. He realizes now, and uh, it was like, okay, that was a mistake by me. Uh, he obviously notices now, goes for it, but it was definitely a blunder by him to not have a horse color. It was not intentional, guys. Yeah. And uh, we take a look at the resource collector right now. There's roughly 500 more for Tato. So it's not surprising, man, as, uh, you know, with the early economy upgrades uh, Tato has with Burgundians is obviously very nice. And we have a heavy plow and Bosa for him already. So he is going to be cruising for sure. Because in, in this map, Jordan, when, when you are going for the long field, you want to make the horse collar, right? Oh, 100%. Like, you save is you go for the fast castle just to go and make in the, in the transition, but that's it. So now he will have to remake the farms much quicker. And now what? Do we are going to see the standard Two. in this kind of maps? Are we going to go for the relics? Yeah, uh, they, they, they will. Uh, they will go for the relics, they will boom, and uh, then they will try to get the position in the middle because uh, in these closed maps it is so much about the position on the map and the closer you are to your opponent with your aggressive buildings, the more you can dictate the game, the more your opponent is forced to defend and react to what you're uh, throwing at him and uh, therefore uh, that's going to be a big thing in map. We see two monasteries here for uh, Viper right away, so you can really see that he's Close. putting a lot of focus on the relic uh, gathering instead of uh, you know expanding his economy of TCs. Well, with nine relics, you can imagine how many relics can I see him, Mr. Mr. Botka. Uh, can we see the Viper POV to see how many relics can can see it? Well, let me just check. Uh, okay, he didn't explore. Well, the middle is then he know that there is five, so I'm yeah was more interested about in the in the set. He only see one, actually, so... Yeah, that's not a lot. And yeah. uh, sometimes you have three, one uh, situation, sometimes two, two, right? So it is a little bit harder to get the uh, sure. intel about the relic position on the outside. I mean, the middle is clear. It's five there. Obviously, the position is always going to be alter, uh, altering a little bit, but uh, you, you can kind of guess where the relics are. And we see uh, Husbandry for Tato. Love that upgrade, especially on these kind of maps. And we see a monk, you know, getting rid of a few light caps, but there were two other ones uh, ready already. So um, Viper was very careful here, so that was a good play. And uh, yeah, second TC being added now by the Viper. And let's see, Mamp, how many relics he can get, because in the middle, I doubt he will get anything. Yeah, I mean, let's see. We see how, well, he has eight light caps, the Viper. So in theory, he will have the advantage, but all the light caps are out of position. 
At they the back or dot dot base? Yeah, they, they kind of attack in the backside of uh, Tate. I don't think there was, should be a conversion, right? There's no way. Okay. Yeah. That would have gotten converted right now. And he would have uh, been very angry about this game. <laughs> uh, we see a uh, relic attempt uh, gathering here by Viper. And oh. he is on point. So he will be able to get that relic. I don't think Tato is in time here. We see him jumping. However, Tato not really able to stop the Relic from getting into the base of Viper here. Yeah, well, he got a Camel. Now that Light Cat is kind of stuck with the Camel, you might be able to clean that Light Cat easily. And now he's coming back from the, with the Light Cat from in the north, doing the 30C now. But Tato Boom, with 7 bullets more, 8 bullets more in 19 minutes, uh, it's on point. Absolutely. And also got to uh, focus on or mentioning that Wheelbar is already in for him as well. And Wheelbar takes around three uh, villagers. So he has a very healthy lead in that regard. But, you know, it's not something Viper is going to be surprised about as uh, adding two monasteries, especially then yep. against the uh, Burgundians. You know you're going to be behind. However, for Viper, it is more important, apparently, to get the relics. He wants to have at least seven. Right now, he has one. Tato, nothing so far. And uh, yeah, in terms of army, six light calves here for Tato, so that's not too bad. However, ten light calf for Viper and three camels, and the camels are just shredding the light calf. So in general, it's a little bit of a better position here for for Viper. It's very important for him to also position the uh, army properly because if they are out of position, they are not going to have any value whatsoever. And Hasperny now coming in as well for Viper, so they are going to be equal in that regard. He's gonna take so many relics. We thought that he was Absolutely. wasn't going to take it, but now with this amount of army, he can get easily those five in the middle. He got already one, uh, uh, and and now he can see the others in the outside. This is this is dangerous. Tato has to do something. I mean, he has now a lot of likes as well, but you need to go now, or he's gonna take it. Most of the relics, and now it started to minus stone. Both players minus stone. Castle forward, castle at home. Well, depending on how much army you got alive, I believe. Yeah, and right now it kind of looks like Tato has no uh, business of getting the map control in the middle as uh, he's just overwhelmed here by the army from Viper. So it's going to be very tough here. And also, yeah, Tato was able to kill a villager, uh, a monk here in the back of uh, Viper's base, and he's causing a little bit of a havoc. Uh, Viper finally finished Loom. He, you know, man, we know that yeah. uh, Viper likes to play uh, on the greedy side here. A little bit greedy. Look at the population difference. It's insane. Now he's getting the wheelbarrow, but it's, well, Villa is different mostly, is what his big difference, 15. He's coming with a, with a monk. I think Tatot missed the relic in the north. Yes, he cannot see it. And the Viper has already three relics, Jordan. He has three relics. Three He's going relics. to be very happy about that. And he, okay, there is a and nice is conversion yeah. attempt by Tato, so the camel has to be uh, sacrificed here. And immediately Viper sending those three light calves right away. And are these three light calves by Tato or from Tato going to find that one? No, the monk escapes here. And uh, right now we see. Uh, Ah, the good old the Donny with the loom. That's okay. something he likes uh, to upgrade, especially against boars. <laughs> and very late. And very late. How many bullets on the stone? It's so many. Look at the stone now for the Viper. The game can destabilize. But you check the resources and Tato is floating the economy to go up. He will go up way faster than Viper. And I love what he's doing. He's not even thinking about adding much more uh, cavalry units here. He switches to the pikeman, and that's going to be so much pressure coming from him. He wants to go up now. He will take the map control with the pikeman, and there will be a forward cast by him, and he will put a lot of aggression here, man. The good thing with this map is not like other maps like Arena or some other closed map. It's like here you can expand. I mean, if you get a forward castle in your face, you can go back. He took all the units in this in this situation. He took also the monk in the north, so he's not taking now that relic. And uh, the Viper might get four relics, but I think Tato at the end it's gonna be more or less fine. In the middle, I think he's gonna take another relic. Yeah, I think there. Yeah, there you go. This is the number one, the number five. Sorry, and he's bringing another. Is six six relics for. For the Viper, I believe, it when he's finding this one. And he's going to find it in a moment. It kind of looks like it. There, there is an go. attempt in the middle Ooh. to prevent Viper from getting the relic. And oh, he was wow. successful in doing so, Tato was. However, the pikemen are being shown right now. So Tato is, you know, showing his cards. 
and I'm sure Viper knows exactly what is going on. He needs to get in privilege as soon as possible because there is so much aggression going to come from Tato. We will see bomber cannons, hand cannoneers, as mentioned earlier. And uh, Viper, he needs to, you know, try to be competitive in that regard because you, if you're three minutes behind, you're going to lose. No matter how good your economy is compared to your opponent, no matter how many relics you have, you will just lose because of the big force uh, Tato is going to uh, throw at him. Okay, let's see. The Viper will have the resources. But I don't know if he has the buildings to go up. He has the buildings, definitely. And the castle is going to be there. Three minutes. He should do some gulams. I don't know if he can see that castle built. Mm, he's going to do some more army from there. No, he cannot see the castle. He cannot see it. The pikes are defending and the castle is in a perfect spot with that difference with two minutes. He's going to be able to take that castle down. He, he will, right? He will take the castle down and we... If we take a look at the resource collected, we have 4,000 more for Tato at this stage of the game. That's kind of like 20%, right? So Crazy. that's that's absolutely good for him. And uh, he doesn't really care about the relics right now because he, he's fine. The villagers are working as well. You don't necessarily depend on the relic, uh, relic income. And we see two archeries uh, ranges being added here by Tato. So chemistry is going to be the first technology uh, from him in Imperial Age, and exactly we have the confirmation here. And uh, yeah, Viper, he has to make a lot of different things now. He has to go back with those relics and uh, send them into a different monastery in the back. He has to move his economy a little bit more to the sides. He has to find a way to uh, make a better fortress in the front in order to buy himself time because Tato is going to push very heavily right now. Yeah, he can move at the, at the back, he, he, he can expand. No, he has to expand, right? It's not that he can, he has to expand. But I don't know if he's going to have time, uh, Jordan. Population say that he's clearly behind. He's more than double the army for, for uh, Burgundian's player, for Tatito. And uh, 20 pikes, what army he has uh, now, the Viper, yeah, to compare that? Yeah, he doesn't really have anything right now. Uh, he is dependent on the chemistry. And we see him doing fletching. What is he going for? I don't see him doing skirms or something like that. So we, yeah, he has to buy himself time to go for, um, you know, hand canoes himself. So that will take a lot of time. He goes for botkin arrow. That confuses me a little bit. He needs chemistry right away. Does he have a university? He yeah. does. Uh, chemistry is incoming. One minute, 30 seconds. He canceled. He canceled. Bo no, he didn't cancel. Bonk. He's doing use the armor as well. So what is the plan here? And can he nearest bombard cannons? Yeah. That, that's what he wants to go for. Uh, you know, he's trying to buy himself as much time as possible because right now that's where Burgundy and China the most. They were playing very greedy. They have the inis initiation, of course, but Viper uh, ga Viper's game plan right now is clear: buy time, expand the economy on the sides, protect them with the castles and just get as many hand cannoneers and bomber cannons out as possible, try to hold, and then adapt. Yeah, maybe even wall, fortify the walls, you if have you to. ask me, you know? Yeah, you have to. I wouldn't even make the gate, that the gate is usually weaker, they go down faster, uh, he should relocate the relics at the back. Well, he has the relics actually at the back, in the in that monastery at the back, And but this hand cannoneers from Hindustanis, if he's doing the upgrade, oh boy. Mr. Jordan. So th this time he's buying his crucial. He take also a monk there. The hand cannoneers are coming, but fortified Ooh. walls. He's going. He's going for those. I mean, you need to go back. Just look at the castle he did in the corner completely. Yep. You know, yep. he's trying just to extend the game as much as possible. If I was him, I would do even more walls. Just get yep. time. You know, don't yep. let that. I mean, if you lose a couple of villages there, just go for more walls. Buy time because the camel and the hand cannoneers combination is pretty strong. I will wall that more. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Viper has experience in Rage Forest, right? You need to uh, buy yourself time as much as possible. However, the fortified, uh, fortified, the uh, fortified wall uh, is not really beneficial for him at all because at the moment it completed the gate went down and Mamp you talked about it earlier you would have built a, a gate uh, not not a gate there because it's weak and that's exactly what we we see now however the viper with the uh, hand cannon is ready now and he does have the plus two range already he has already that is so comfortable for him and tato cannot engage against that there's just no way because he's always going to be outranged that's kind of like britons against any other archers yeah so viper right now he has the, the tools to defend. Yeah. So now we have to go the extra step. And we see it right now. Tato already preparing. Paladin upgrade incoming. However, if we take on the other side, a look. 
Viper is already ready with the Heavy Camel, so he knows exactly what his opponent is going to go for. And man, we are reaching a stage where both players will have the units they really want to go for. If we take a look at the population, better for Tato, no question about it. But if he allows Viper to get more time here, it's always going to be better for Viper. Yeah, and if you think about this, he's doing the Paladin upgrade, but it's not like you have 20 knights. He's doing now the Cavaliers, yeah. you know, the, and he has only seven, seven more in the queue. I don't know, he need to reward that area. I don't know if he's gonna reward. He need a second castle. Relics is still 4-3, so they are missing two relics that I don't know where they are, to he's be honest. putting them back. Vibers. Okay, he moving, right? So he has 6-3. Yeah, yeah. No, 6 no, 4-4 four, four is going to be 5-4, then it's, then it's even. Mm -hmm. Very, very even game. Well, one of those crazy games that we want to see is going to be a, a very long game, or this 200 population, when he get all the upgrades, Tato is going to be able... Ooh, I interrupt that uh, argument because he deny that castle. Yeah, that's uh, a important very, one. very important. And, uh, you know, Viper knows exactly that there's uh, some ambition here for Tato. But anyway, we have a big fight about to come. We see some good bombard cannon shots and Viper is kind of forced to go back here because he doesn't have the army numbers as of now. But look at the paladins, they are strong, but the hand cannon is are insane. He also has few, few camels. Camels that are only have the bloodlines. Well, they still have camels. Health the bonus. Need to go back now. The snake is still with in quote, low population, uh, uh, low population, 165. He yep. need to do the viper. What more camels? I believe, right? You need more camels. He doesn't have any upgrade on the cavalry, though. Nothing, ma'am. Absolutely nothing. And Tata on the other side, he's cruising with his upgrades on the cavalry. So wow. viper right now, he's just trying to buy him t himself time. That's all he's doing. Right? He's fine if uh, Tato is does, doesn't engage. And Tato, I feel like, is giving Viper a little bit m too much time. Siege Engineers incoming, super important here for Viper. That's the benefit they have compared to Burgundians. And uh, Halberdiers incoming now for Tato. So, ooh, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Well, but imagine that the Viper can reach, obviously he doesn't have the resources, but imagine that he can reach now the Imperial Camels. Imperial Camels and Hank can reach the Bombard Cannons, almost kill him, but he didn't. And now he's going to try to take that one, he's going to move, his micro in the... Oh, he shoot again, and look at the HP from all the Bombard Cannons, you need to go back! Need to go back and repair those. It's almost down all then, but yeah. they're still all alive. Yeah, it's just uh, very, very dicey, right? Because the Bombard Cannons in two shots, they go down, and it is generally easily, uh, easier to micro one bomber cannon uh, versus the four here. And uh, yeah, I mean, Viper was able to sustain all his numbers. However, uh, it's, it still feels like Tato has the map control here. Yeah, but Trebuchet, it's down. He's gonna make another castle at the bottom left corner so he cannot really get raided. And the Viper is gonna focus probably in, in, in the middle, but he need this castle. He's gonna make it. It's too many villages. Too many villages with those two castles, he's can't cover if he's defending against some siege. Problem for the Viper. The amount of army from Tato right now, it's scary. 75 military with how many paladins? Already scary as well. 27, 24 hand cannoneers, 16 halberd years. That army need to go back from, well, Viper oh. doesn't have any army there anymore because Tato clean absolutely everything there. But at home, he's holding pretty well. Can the Viper come back in this game, Mr. Jordan? Oh, for sure. I mean, it's not like it's uh, lethal damage dealt by Tato. Uh, he has some good moments here, and that's the big thing about the Camel situation here. Even, uh, how's that tech hold, man? Oh, God. Murder holes. Murder holes. I always forget that one. Yeah, so that is very necessary for him because there are a lot of units attacking the castle as of now, and even a trebuchet in the back here. And oh, the man. Oh man, look at those hand cannons. Sorry that I interrupt you, Jordan. Those hand cannons coming with those traps, trying to counter the other, but the bomber cannons are lonely there. This is a lot of resources. The siege is so crucial how you push back if you lose all those bomber cannons. That is a lot of gold. And right now, the Viper has two villains of gold only. Jordi, that's a huge loss by the Viper. That's such a big thing. The bomber cannon is by far the most expensive unit here on the field. And uh, yeah, with not too much gold excess, as you pointed out, ma'am, two only on gold so far. It feels like mm, Viper is losing more and more the initiative here. He needs to secure himself more and more gold. Like he has still 800 in the bank. However, the, the cavalry upgrade incoming as of now. So he's just not ready as of now. And uh, yeah, Tato is uh, enjoying really the moment here. Yeah, but then you check the population and you think like, what? 
200 population the Viper, 200 population. That one that 8 to 3, what's going on? What's happening? He's holding the position and he's not finding gold with more than two villages because he doesn't want or he didn't notice. He has gold here free, gold in the other side, and now he's gonna push it back if he's taking those trebuchet. The Viper is definitely still in the game. And as we were talking, a very, very uh, short game, you know? Mm, yeah, yeah, the, the good old 50 minutes yeah, which yeah. we expected, man. Okay. Uh, him having so little on gold is definitely a mistake by him. Uh, I'm not sure. It, I mean, there are a lot of things going on, uh, man. But I love that. Oh, Great I chaos. love that so much because the Paladins otherwise would have been able to kill those trebuchet from the Viper and now he's kind of safe in that regard. He's doing another one with those hand cannons trying to block those Paladins. The Paladins are so expensive. Hand cannons as well. He's gonna take now so many hand cannons. Army number from Tato, insane. 70 army, 39 from the Viper. This battle is huge for the Spaniard and he's gonna be able to take all the traps if he's also killing those traps. The value of this battle is it is awesome, Mr. Jordan. Yeah, this is such a good uh, moment here for Tato, being able to kill a lot of important units on the south side. In the meantime, he is pushing in the middle as well. However, Viper has army here. Ma'am, it feels like a back and forth all the time. Yeah, they are now trying to fight. Well, try, no, they are fighting in two spots at the same time, but Tato seems to have the better numbers now and the better quality army. Those Paladinos are gonna take another Bombard Cannon. The Mortal Host is helping really, really a lot. But why the Viper don't put more Villains on gold? He could have 20 Villains on gold. This is the problem. He cannot produce good army. He has Light Gas on the field. He's kind of forced into the Light Cap, and that's not yeah. the unit he, he wants to go for as of now. Of course, in the later stages, going for Hustles makes sense. But right now, he still has the gold access on the right hand side he still has a little bit of gold left in the, in the back on the on the south side so uh, yeah in the middle tato is uh, camping there right with uh, another beautiful castle in the front so uh, it, it will be hard for viper to uh, get more breathing room here yeah and tato does everything upgraded everything upgraded if you check right now he's doing the plus four the viper is just missing some very important upgrades in his army mind those army is not even imperial camels you know yeah am i in those those units with all the arbits, which is not happening. But not. there we go again with the camels and the hand cannon. Who is taking this battle, Mr. Jordan? I, I feel like it looks a little bit better for uh, for uh, Tato as he has those three bombard cannons involved as well. That's very, very valuable. And he was not able to kill that bombard cannon. It was such a clutch save here by Tato. The camels are obviously uh, doing a perfect job in denying the raid attempts by Tato, killing those paladins with an ease. And uh, we also forgot to mention Burgundians don't have access to uh, bloodlines. It's, oh it's boy, that were very interesting. You know, you want to kill everything with that one. Yeah, <laughs> is it intentional, man? What do you think? <laughs> well, you know, I was sarcastic already, so we buy in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> three bomber cannons, one camel converted. The paladin, not a lot of army committing. He's respecting still the snake. Yeah, because absolutely. here, if Tato is going a little bit more aggressive, he clean a lot more. He take a lot more yeah. damage. Yeah. But, I mean, you, you got to respect the capabilities of uh, Viper. And the problem is, as the aggressor, you're always going to invest a little bit more resources compared to Defender. And we see an engagement here, but uh, you can tell Viper was not really paying attention here as uh, he lost a lot of HP on those units, even lost units, and he didn't have Siege to back it up, right? So it was a little bit of a misplay. He found the gold uh, in his base, ma'am. So uh, he's kind of stabilizing in that part and both plays with 200 population. Ma'am, which position do you prefer right now? The longer the, go the, the games goes, the better for the snake. Because of the relic advantage? Yeah, and remember, we forgot to mention that this civilization give you 10% more gold. Yeah. So it's 10% yeah. more gold from the relics as well. Yeah. So it can be a lot of gold at the at the end of the of the game, you know? For sure. And now the Viper is mining 28 villages on gold, and that gold, it, it is still there. Like, they have a lot of gold, hazards as well. Let's see. I mean, not that they have the best units, but so much gold. Yeah. In the long term, you tell me. Uh, the, the, the combination Viper in theory could go for is Hasser. They don't cost gold. And Ooh. we see that upgrade. And we also see Imperial Camel. Oh. So that one is just shredding Cav uh, units completely. So uh, upon seeing that Tato, he needs to push with a Halberdier Cav combination. We saw a castle being attempted by, I, I suppose it is Tato. Nice. But yep. I'm sure he was able to delete it. Look at how much stone he has. 
He can lose if he want. <laughs> he can lose four. <laughs> Doubt would love to be in yeah. that position. Yeah. By, by the way, um, I mentioned the the upgrade for Hindustanis, but Burgundians also with the Burgundians vineyard, you get also gold. Oh yeah. Which one give you more? Yeah. I believe that uh, Hindustanis one. It, no? it should be Hindustanis. Uh, if you have 60 farmers, I think it's uh, additional two relics, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, definitely more valuable here. Uh, that's also one of the reasons why Burgundians is so nice on these kind of uh, maps here and. You know, now we uh, reach a point where it's a little bit like a chess game. Yep. You you don't want to commit too hard. You, you know, show your cards a little bit, tickle and go back. Oh, that Siege Engineer here, Jordan, is massive. And Viper can micro the units a little bit. Yeah, he has done it before. Uh, but we see a ooh. really nice push here by Tato on the south side. Viper was not ready for that. He still has 190 population, that's good. But he's losing a lot of ground here and a lot of uh, villagers. Oh, though, that, can, that Bomber Cannon also hard a lot. Oh, but he, what is he doing? He's taking the farmers and now the Castle Arrow is taking so many pallets. The pallets are expensive. He still have resources forever. You know, he has resources forever right now, but Tato is coming as well with Sorry, Viper is coming with the Imperial Chemist. He's cleaning oh. now in the middle because both are fighting. Both are fighting into a spot and it's so complicated, Mr. Jordan. Yeah, and the Imperial Camel is just a perfect unit to f defend the southern part for Viper because there are only calf uh, units from Tato and now the Bomber Cannons are pushing here from Tato in the middle. However, the castle of uh, Tato is getting closer and closer to its death. And now we see something which uh, Viper is not going to be happy about. Halberdiers and a few Paladins. And yep. they are going to be impossible to engage against, except with hand cannoneers. Well, there's some hand cannoneers, not so many. It's still military numbers. Military numbers more for the Viper. Well, now the same. He's housed. He needs to make houses because he doesn't have the 200 population. He's still holding in the center forever. Those resources are also incredibly, incredibly important. Imagine that he's getting this castle down and then he get back those that goal. It's the only goal probably left for Tato. Yeah, right. I mean, it feels like it is, right? And he only has the... Yeah, okay, only four relics. Uh, it's not the biggest yeah. advantage here for, for Viper. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, three bomber cannons are very in a very dicey position right now. One of them goes down. The second one could be close to dying as well. Clutch safe here by the Viper, able to uh, keep that one alive. But the trebuchet will... Uh, you know, see its fate, apparently. Okay, he's repairing the trebuchet, it has one HP! It's gonna repair the trebuchet or not? Okay, he's repairing... He's not killing! So, okay, two HP. Now, holding here with Imperial Camels, has SARS, hand cannoneers, there's still a lot of bomber cannons, military numbers almost the same, population almost the same. Who is winning the game? I, I was thinking about it myself. It's just so close here. At the end of the day, it will come uh, down to the gold uh, access, gold control. And uh, right now, it feels like everything has disappeared in terms of the gold, except the one in the middle, which they are fighting for. And both players should fully focus. We see some nice quick walls here by Tato, able to get a lot of kills on the Hustlers without them having any value whatsoever. And uh, this was uh, a nice play here by, by Tato. Really nice one. Don't you think that maybe he should have gone with the Bomber Cannons and hit into those can Cannoneers? But now, this is a... Brutal raid here by the Viper. He's killing so many bullets, but Tato has done already that before. The ca this castle is crucial. This castle, this is, castle so is really crucial. You know, he is still coming. Tato is still raiding through this area. Halbard is Casars. The Viper doesn't have a lot of farming here. Doesn't have any defense at all. But population is still very, very high. How? You gotta explain me. I mean, uh, both players uh, are not uh, not diverse, right? <laughs> so they know how to produce the, the units. They have a very healthy economy in, in the back as well. The biggest issue I see for Viper right now is that he doesn't have access to Halberdiers. Oh yeah, but the look at those Bomber Cannons hitting those hand Cannoneers. They still tattooed with a lot of army. 73 military, the castle is gonna be down or not? He's not being down, but here... Tato is killing. Absolutely everything. Uh, absolutely everything. The s population uh, from Viper completely plummeting right now. We have only 150 for him, while Tato is close to be maxed out uh, already again. So it will. Uh, you know, it, it kind of looks like over time, Tato is just gaining more and more ground. He's playing very patiently. He knows exactly at this point of the of the game. Uh, Hindustan is really struggle against those raids as they don't have a gold uh, income and therefore with the camels you don't you cannot uh, go for those as uh, it is the perfect unit to to stop the raids here 
Okay, Burgundian seems to just don't die here, but the Viper keep going. He's still on 63 farmers. Now zero village on goal. He's still five relics, so it's okay. He has sell quite a lot of wood. He is still selling wood. He got one minute ago, two minutes ago, 7,000 wood, and now he's down to 4,600. Okay, and he's still trying to hold, but the good thing here for Tato is that he keep the middle, and he's reading here from the last 15 minutes yeah. all the time, and pushing a little uh, slowly. Yeah, so he is in the driver's seat, he's oh. aware of that, right? And uh, he, he doesn't need to rush something necessarily. Wow, that was a clutch save by, by Tato. That could have been very, uh, very uh, ugly for, for Tato here. Okay, the Viper can take that goal. The Viper now can take that goal, but how important is this area here? Doesn't seem that he's achieving too much now, Tato. Maybe he should focus on defending here. At least skirmishes. When you have to do at least skirmishes with Burgundians, I don't like it. No, as they don't have access to the uh, last armor upgrade for, for them, right? So it is not the perfect unit to go for. And uh, Viper, he's on the v he was on the verge of dying. However, Tata was not really able to finish this off with a lethal push. And uh, Viper is getting more and more uh, time here. And that's always going to be an advantage for him because, you know, he is fine playing on like this as uh, gold income is going to be rather the same here. And... Uh, yeah, it's just it's just tough right now for for Tato to make the finish finishing blow. Check the army. We have said many many times how important is the mobility, and for the longest game. By the way, he's missing one attack. They one attack. The oh yeah, he's missing the viper. The last another attack. Another siege, uh, siege uh, how's it called? Siege tower. Yeah, he did another. Uh, he's building. Such a troll. It is in the queue. I mean, I don't know, but he doesn't have uh, resources for it. Oh my God, he's taking now that gold is very, so really, really important. He need the push for attack. And I, w I was going to say that if the game go longer, Hazards. Oh, the, ooh, he took the bomber cannon, but Beautiful. no bloodlines also, Jordan. Yeah. But uh, this castle now, I mean, is Viper coming back here? Because it was looking like, look at the score. And it seems that Viper has probably now the initiative. Look at the population, still housed at 195 population. Those Khazars are going to snipe the siege. This is what he's trying, but that castle is in danger. Not so long ago, Mr. Jordan, he was with 2,000 stone. Look at the stone now for Tatot. And if there's no resources anymore, the Viper seems to be able to get this. And with that siege tower, well... The, you yeah, cannot lose with the Siege yeah. Tower, man. There, there's just <laughs> no way, and uh, it's going to uh, absorb so many nice. shots here from the castle uh, by Tato. And, you know, that's... I've played against Viper in these kind of situations so many times already in my life, and uh, it's not a beautiful thing. Because yeah. he is so patient, it's he's Viper so mode. smart. That's Viper mode, right? Absolutely. That The Viper mode here is feeling so comfortable. He's missing one house, he's missing Blast Furnace. Other than that, all the upgrades, have, all the upgrades sorry, has been done. Probably he don't even realize. He doesn't even realize right now. Look at those hand cannoneers. How many he got? 43 hand cannoneers with 9 range. That's insane. In 1 hour and 3 minutes, is double the hand cannoneers that his opponent. Yeah, he's spamming. He has a lot of army in the queue. But the value of that military, I mean, you tell me. Absolutely insane. And the thing is, Viper has access to the only gold, right? So that's beautiful. Look at the difference on the relic gold with one relic. Wow. And it's now, you know, the difference right now is 2,600 gold. We were bo wondering how important can be the average for Hindustanis. 2,600 gold more from the relics. From one relic more. Yeah. Yeah. Insane. That's absolutely insane. It is so game deciding as well in these kind of stages, right? So overall, we see another big engagement here, both uh, players are trading very equally so far. It looks like Tato has a little bit more here, but we see bombard cannons in the back for, for Viper, and that is so huge. Yeah, well, military numbers still almost the same. It's triggered me so much, and also for the, for, for the chat, make a house the Viper. Guys, everyone type in the chat, house, house, house. He, he makes one, house. he makes he's one. The house, he was hearing you. No, he's to block it. He's to block it, but he's just doing on that. <laughs> But he was doing the house. You didn't say yeah, where, man. You didn't say where. It, but he's not finishing, man. <laughs> he's trolling me, man. He's trolling everyone, you know? Come uh, on, he's spamming. He's finishing now with one HP building, you know? He's, uh, he's close to it. However, man, he's losing so much population yeah. right now. 150 against 200. It looks like Mem Tato is about to finish Viper here. Because of the house? Because of the house. Okay. It was missing. Okay. You have to multitask, but... Oh my god, a lot of big Look shots. Look at the village there. number for the Viper. What happened with his economy? He raided absolutely Crazy. everything here in the north, on the right, on the left, all over the map. Yeah, it's so tough for Viper right now to stabilize again. With 130 population against 200, 
uh, population from Tato. This is going to be so tough. How many hand cannoneers does he have? He is down to uh, how many? Thir no. Look, he has no. more hand cannon here than Billy is. Uh, you know? uh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is exaggerated, of course, but he needs a lot deadly. of time. He needs a lot of time, and yeah. I don't think Man uh, Tato is going to give him that time here. Depend of how much siege Tato has to push. Yeah, he has four bomber cannons there. If he can snipe and stop those bomber cannons, Viper has already ten villages in the queue, and it's still on sixty-two farmers. And the goal keep coming from the relics. So uh, he have to wait. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, I think. I mean, he's look at slowly. The numbers. Yeah, 150 population. I mean, we have to look at the army numbers. 52 against 59 here. So, in theory, oh my God. Viper has the tools right now to defend. And you can see it is so much about the gold control here. It is almost depleted here. Bomber cannons is taking down. He's taking down the hand cannon. He's, those four bomber cannons is the key here, Mr. Jordan. Those four bomber cannons and the viper not. This he's going for those bombers and with the hand cannoneers and the bomber cannons behind. This kid's doing a gate because he know how important that siege is, Mr. Oh, Jordan. And there was such a clutch play by uh, Tato as well. Even repairing that bomber cannon, it does not go down. However, viper is still a very healthy army size. You can do a lot with it, however, uh, Tato, Take the is just, Tato, yeah, but <laughs> Tato is just doing such a good job in raiding. Yeah, it's constantly, so right? Good. Non stop. Yeah. Okay. It's non stop, but the Viper again has 25 hand cannons, not that much army for the snake here, doing another bomber cannon. Population 100 feet is at the limit. Yeah, it's it's completely at the limit. really at the limit. Oh my. And the farmers are going down as well from 62 to 44 right now, so he's losing a lot here. And, uh, Let's yeah. check that it point of view, Mr. Yeah, Jordan. Now, sure. Let's for check sure. that it point of view, what he can see and how he's managed everything here. We can see his 200 population, and uh, mm. but this is the difference here. We notice here how the players don't see the same that we do. Yeah, and it's more complicated to just go and push. He see the ready, but he doesn't see how much army he got there. And now, if we go to to the viper. There you go, the snake. Similar, right? Like, he, they are both in the same spot. <sighs> Absolutely. Here in the middle. Yeah. However, Tato has so much more map presence yeah. uh, than, uh, than Viper is. And Viper has been defending all the time throughout the last uh, one hour. <laughs> so it is it is very, very tough right now to, you know, find the time in order to get the army he needs to. And now it's just it's just a game of patience for, for Viper. Yeah, Tato is, he is about to push, I'm sure. He's doing the plus four attack here. He Finally. now is dropping the farmers. Uh, you need to keep more than 50, 60. He has 80 farmers. Tato is still pushing and producing. Oh, man. 50 halberdiers in the queue. 36 Khazars. Uh, the, the production now is ridiculous, Mr. Jordan. Check Tato production while the Viper has in the production now five Khazars and two hand cannoneers. Not, not so much for Viper and the Siege. The only thing which is good for the Viper is that there is no Siege for Tato except one yep. Bomber Cannon on the field, so there's not really going to be a lethal push. However, Tato's strategy is more to really dwindle down the villager numbers from his opponent, just, you know, just outproduce him and Right on the sides as much as possible while defending in the middle. Yeah, for those people that might be wondering, because we didn't mention why Viper is not walling. Well, those rocks that you see at the edge of the map, you cannot wall the whole map. You can't. You know, you can't wall the, the, the map, so you, you are exposed for the raid. But the snake is still going. This is 150 population, and Villa is different, it's only 13. And it's still with 53 farmers. Obviously, resources are the limit, but the game keeps going, and he's doing more and more villas, and he's gonna catch up in Villa's numbers in no time. Um, I don't know. Is the Viper going to be able to do the job? The problem is, is he raiding Tato at any point? He's not raiding. He's never raiding, right? He's just slowly but surely pushing in the middle a little bit to get more space, more space while defending at home. He's doing a good job now. He's back to 160 population, has uh, created roughly 30 villages. So he is in an okay position. The most important thing for him, don't lose bomber cannons, don't lose hand cannons. The gold units are so valuable for him right now. And Tato, it feels like he is on the verge of beating Viper in this game, but it feels like he's not able to deliver the finishing blow. Look at the population again. He's again in 175 population. Was down to 120 at some point, Crazy. if I'm not mistaken. And it's still going. The Hassas are coming. This is a lot of Halvardiers, but... Are you gonna commit to get this one? He is, he is, he is, he split those Khazar, but the house melt, melt. 
the hazard, but it's worth it. That was you want worth to it. Kill the bomber that cannon. was worth it, yeah. right? Because the bomber cannons are so valuable here, and uh, Tato now able. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. We we okay. predicted properly, I think. Though. Okay. Well, it was sarcastic. I think they they probably didn't know, but well, they troll us, you know. <laughs> they troll us big time. Uh, yeah. Anyway, hand cannon is and Casar's on the right, and you were going to tell something, Mr. Jordi. Ooh, this is a hole also here. I forgot a man. <laughs> That's fine. The troll is better than this. Any, more important. Any, any, more uh, important. Hand cannon is gonna take it here. Wall again. Population tow. 200 for Tato, 180, and this is what we were talking. You can move in this map, and this is what the Viper is doing right now, and he's taking with those hand cannons absolutely everything. And man, it feels like. Uh, Viper just always finds the way of surviving and dragging out the game in a way that he feels he has a chance to win, right? That makes him so exceptionally well, uh, good. And uh, yeah, right now, he's back to 200 population! He was down to 100 it's two, it's three minutes with ago. With more fillings than his opponent now, the one who is oh. reading finally is the Viper, he's sending yeah. more Khazar. Those Khazars now finally has the plus four attack. Numbers is still more for Tatot, but for how long? He still have a lot of food in the bank, Tatot. 80 farmers, wood might be the problem. At some point with 20 Lumberjacks only, 20 Lumberjacks only. It could be, right? Uh, right now, both still have a lot of wood in the bank, so it is going to be a little bit longer, and uh, Fortified Clearing is uh, has a lot of uh, wood on the map, so I don't think it's going to be a deciding factor as of now. And uh, yeah, In case, just in case, doing TCs in the wood. You, yeah, know? I, you, you never know, right? Uh, no. Better safe than sorry. And yeah, I on. feel like, man, honestly, it feels like Viper has a map uh, army composition which is kind of impossible for Tatu to engage against because he has extra ranges on his bomber or gunpowder units and Tatu he's he's kind of forced to leave that castle and yeah. Viper is on point he doesn't let those uh, bomber cannons uh, oh, just man. Be and close. now he's, he's taking all the army. Oh, do you think he got Kassars here? Oh my wow. god! Oh my god! Well, this is what he needs. He's gonna raid now absolutely everything. Millions of Kassars. He got some hand cannon He's gonna kill how many villages? I don't know. Let's check because there's not. Well, that is he saved him a lot. Absolutely. You know, because he got nothing to garrison here. Kassars are coming, hand cannon and he's taking so many villages again. Population drop it to 160 again, but. Viper is doing a counter attack at the same time and taking all the buildings in the middle, Mr. Mr. Jordan. I it's, forgot your name. <laughs> uh, I forget it sometimes as well. It's, there's just so much action going on, right? The camel units right now are so valuable for Viper. They are going to shred the Hussars completely. In the meantime, he's pushing on the front. He's getting more and more ground. He is uh, plummeting in terms of population. Yes, he lost a lot of villagers. It was at 130, now lost 30. But the Hindustani villagers, they are very cheap map as well. So, yeah, we, we see what the hell is ha happening here. <laughs> okay. Well, look at those. Im some Imperial Camels is sending more Khazars back. Where is the 3,000 food in the bank for, for Tato? It's in the has, damn hell. Yeah, it's in the damn hell. And yeah, 67 Khazars. But if he keep going like this, he's not going to be able to produce all the time. No, there's just no way. And I mean, Tato must be feeling the pressure right now. He's desperately trying to push on the sides as well because he knows he cannot fight the main army of Viper in the middle, and he's losing so much ground there as well. He need, uh, what he's doing is 100% perfect, but you need to add halberdiers as well, otherwise the camels are just going to shred you. But the problem is that if he add halberdiers, he won't have almost wood soon to remake the farmers. Yep. You know, it's he's getting at the limit both with the resources and the army. I mean, if you got more numbers for Tato, there's still a stronger army from the Viper. Yep. I mean, Tato needs to find a way how he's capable of killing the army in the middle. And he does so by putting a lot of focus from Viper on the sides and, you know, prepare for a big push in the middle. Oh, look at the score. The score is getting closer. He's trying to kill this army. He felt that he needs to kill it. And probably now... Oh, man, those... those, those can count on ears. And he's attacking the health with the bomber cannons, man, you know? But let's see this battle. This is so important. Really, really important for Tato. Is Tato going to be able to clean this? I think he will. He's going to take absolutely everything. And now the Viper is at the limit one more time. Because has been in this position before. What is this? A tone center with the gate. I mean, what? But he's not gonna make it. What, is, what happened with that TC, Jordan? Viper has lost so many units here and very important units, man. I don't think he can come back from this. 
Tato did such an amazing job, as I said, uh, focus uh, the, the attention from Viper on the side and just try to surprise him in the middle with the Hustlers and Halberdiers, so and that's exactly what he did. And now Viper, he will never be able to get to the mass of hand cannoners again. He doesn't have the gold income. Okay, he's bringing now a lot of Kassars. He got uh, seven hand cannoners, not so many units for sure. Population drop it again dramatically to 135. 130, he's even dropping more. He's raiding all the time, man. I mean, if you don't kill now the Viper, then when? He, he's raiding all over. Oh, this is such a clutch gameplay by both players, but it feels like Tato, you know, a little bit ahead here if it's about uh, the presence on the map. Uh, he's also adding Halberdiers now. I, I feel like Ta uh, Viper, he doesn't want it, but he will be forced to switch into skirmishers in order to counter those Halberdiers because as Hindustanis, either skirms or hand cannoneers, and hand cannoneers are completely gone. He will have to wait a long, long time to get a few uh, units out again. He has currently four. No, 12 on the field, 4 more in production, but he needs to have at least 30. Nah, and he, he doesn't have food to produce Hazards. Well, Tato, how many Hazards he has done? You know, I mean, I don't know how many Hazards he has done in this game. We need to finish the game, we need to see the, that production because it might, it might be insane numbers. He's coming again, and now with the Bomber Cannon, if he take this TC, might be the game. Because how many Tone Centers got the Viper? Well, one with 4 Tone Centers, but here in this area and on the wood line, none. Now the one who is not protected that the wood is, is the snake. Yeah, and uh, his TC is curr currently constantly uh, garrisoned, right? And we see such a big swarm of Hussars here. They don't have bloodlines, yes, but there are too many on the field. Like, Viper cannot really engage into that at all. He sells 1,400 food for 238 gold. That was expensive. That's that an expensive, expensive trade, you know? Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, to make some siege, I believe. Yeah, to make a bomber cannon. Yeah. It's to make bomber cannons. That's how desperate uh, Tato is right now, right? It, it, it feels like he's so so close, on the verge of um, taking Viper down in this game, but he knows exactly he needs to push more with the with the siege. Otherwise, Viper is going to hold on forever, and Doubt is, as predicted, not going to play today. Okay. <laughs> I was like, why he said that? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is not play. Yeah. Okay, Doubt always play. Uh, Doubt always Somehow, plays. Somehow, you know, yeah, in a way yeah, or another, yeah. he always play. We love you, Doubt. <laughs> okay, let's see now. The castle on top of that hill. Uh, this is so important. That TC down is so crucial. I think this can be the game. Well, the Viper bought it a stone. He sell 1,000 wood to get 180 gold. A stone to make another TC on the left. He's tried to relocate. The Viper feel that if he keep going so, so long, he might win the game. That's why he's not giving up. Look at that TC at the bottom. And yeah. again, 20 hand cannoneers, what, two Imperial camels, some Hussars. Look at the TC to protect. He's not going to give up, man. Uh, he Definitely doesn't, not. It doesn't look like that. It, it feels like at, at this point, his way of winning is not existing, right? It, it's just impossible for him at this stage, I, I no, no, think. No, he's dropping, he's dropping now. He's, he's dropping, dropping now, Mr. Jordan. Much. He's dropping yeah. a lot. 89, 88 villages dropping massively now. 120 population one more time. Hand cannon is in the middle. Okay, he might clean those, but he's, he's down to 85 villages. I mean, we have been in this position before a couple of minutes ago, man, mm. where Viper was at 120 population and managed to get up to 200 population again. But, oh, oh, oh yeah, I see Dowd's face right now. He is not amused <laughs> at all. <laughs> <laughs> Initially today in the morning, he said jokingly, oh, ACCM, Mr. you are playing. I will uh, start at midnight. What time it kind of looks like that. It's okay, <laughs> yeah, I'm just checking the time and 9 p.m. is fine. Come on, Doubt, let's go. Doubt, you can do it. <laughs> now that I'm thinking it's only second game, uh, he's yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> and we have a few other games uh, as well, which could take longer. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> okay. Ah, well, and we have to play Snooker again, you know, and some tennis. Uh, yeah, now, yeah. So, <laughs> sorry, Doubt, you have to wait. Because that's a hand cannon. <laughs> uh, that's, that's so good, that's so good. <laughs> anyway, it's coming now with the bomber cannon and how about this? Look at <laughs> oh, yeah. Put him in the camera, please. Okay, this game oh, keeps going. God. 137 <laughs> population. <laughs> it's specialist, specialist. Like, why did I qualify? Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, he's ready now. <laughs> Incredibly, this is it. <laughs> <laughs> That's sad, but. Doubt is amazing. Everything. <laughs> 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 and then 
Now with all the rage, 135. <laughs> oh <laughs> God! Yeah. You see the pain in but his face. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't yeah. go to the gym today, but yeah. don't need anymore. We don't you know? need it. Yeah. No, no, no. Okay, uh, 132 population, and in the meanwhile, they keep going and doing exactly the same for the last one hour and 30 minutes. No, for the last oh, but this is brutal, man. It's cleaning a lot. Uh, uh, I think Viper and Dot are going to have a talk after the series is yeah, over, yeah, that's yeah. for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Insane. Okay, Hank Cannonier is going back. He needs to be careful. Those are l quite some skirmishes. It's Casas as well. Milita and Ambers is double. <sighs> I don't see a winning condition off of the Viper. I don't as well. And I'm just waiting. Uh, may maybe Viper is trying to compete against Mr. Yo and ACSM if it's about the title. Biggest, uh, big, biggest fighter. Well, it's, it's 2,000 score difference, and he feels that he has the, 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 the relics bonus that is increasing. It's 4,000 gold from the, for one relic. 4K more gold, you know? So it's, it's absolutely crazy. And military numbers, 39, 63. And also maybe he's going to... Well, but Tato has been playing these kind of games forever, so he's not going to... He's going to have his stamina and all to keep going. Uh, you know, he and is Mr. Force Oh, player. GG! GG! Man, we GG, see that GG Hazard. being called. How let's Hazards, go! How many Hazards and, and let's see the, 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 how many units bought the, the last, I don't know, it's 500 Hazards, 500 Hazards. Look how at many? how happy Dowd is right now. He's... <laughs> the, <laughs> the, what is he screaming? And Scholz is still in there. And Scholz is kind of a game which is known to be a little bit longer. Now they they Scholz too? In the, in the map pool? Yes. And arena. Okay, I'm going and to arena. Uh, what? Yeah. Okay. Th th now I understand. <laughs> what? What are like? What is happening? Like, I, I'm, the only thing I'm missing now is doubt going in there. Okay. Okay. Five minute breaks for for only for them and for us, no? Uh, uh, what, okay. what the hell? What the hell? No, no, no. Uh, fine, you don't. You fine. don't need a break after these games, right? Like, nah, nah, easy, easy, easy going. Easy, easy. No, but obviously, uh, th these games are very tiring uh, for the players. So it only makes sense to uh, have an exception here and uh, grant the five minutes break in uh, compared to the after the game three. And uh, yeah, we we saw a phenomenal game. Uh, so many back and forths and uh, Tato. The, the best of the game was doubt. <laughs> yeah, yeah that, 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 that was a nice <laughs> moment, that's for sure. Uh, Doubt was not uh, so so happy about that. But they, they are is shooting, that, they are is, shooting is, to us. Is that like criticizing the our casting skills? It, like, it, you have to do better. It wasn't so great. I mean, I think we did okay. Uh, maybe uh, we have to step it up. Uh, I, don't put, put in the in the I don't exactly. want to be in the Colosseum. I don't want to be in the Colosseum again. <laughs> it's going to explode. It is going it to be inside. Man, do something. <laughs> do something. La la la. <laughs> <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Okay. Oh, uh, oh. Oh. Stop going down, man. You're going to push down completely. You, you, we, we have to repair it. The Spanish villagers are. Uh, ah! we're down completely. We are in the damn hell now. We're, we're, we're there again. Oh. We have uh, been. Uh, how's it called? Reborn? Yeah. Uh, is what are we reborn? No, we so are GG. We are GG. We're a Flemish militia. Flemish militia. You know? that, that's the only thing Tato has not researched last game, right? That's why I we would are. have loved. I would have loved to see that, right? No, well, it's been nerfed heavily, but uh, you know. Yeah. Whew, what a game! Are you enjoying people in the stream? Oh, uh, 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 look, uh, look, look, come on, man! Look at this. Uh, doubt gets a hug from Nilly. Like uh, I feel your pain. Come, doubt. Doubt, come, come here. Come here with us. <laughs> doubt, come, come. Explain. Come, come. Talk to the viewers. Come, come here. Come here, with Jordi. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> we are all losing by watching this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Neil, for the map, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we love this game. <laughs> <laughs> when when I saw the map draft, I showed it to Doubt because he couldn't believe it. But I was like, so <laughs> 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 Camera, please. Doubt. Viper is challenging Mr. Yo and ACCM for the strongest fighter. You know, it's like. Oh, oh god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my goodness. You know, initially I thought it was a joke by Doubt, but uh, I, I think. Doubt, are you like mentally prepared for uh, playing at midnight? At least I have this. <laughs> 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 uh, that, they didn't that. See. <laughs> that, that, that will give him one hour more of power. Mm -hmm. uh, you know? Well, it didn't give you more power before. <laughs> but, <laughs> 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 but 
maybe no. Maybe if you remove, you start to win the games. I would rather stay here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm in a good place. <laughs> Jordan, are you ready to cast another amazing tower game? I'm, I'm looking forward for Arena, for Scholz. On Arabia, maybe it could be a little oh, bit... Is Arabia as well. Which one could is be next? a little bit closer. Scholz, of course. Scholz now? Thank you, Nidio, again for the map draft. It can you was, uh, <laughs> can you sit down? I'm going to sit down, guys. No, you, I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. So, it looks like Viper, he doesn't need too much of a break, it feels like, right? Uh, no, 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 he's ready. He, he's like, ready. He wasn't like, okay, there's a five uh, minutes break. Why? You Not know, play. both, both players are kind of known to have good stamina. They are uh, hardcore Age of Empires players, and uh, you know they they have stamina. I'm checking. Uh, they Scholes have done this a couple of times already. And I'm checking life. Soul Civilizations. Which one is going to be? I will not spoil anything, as they might be hearing us. No, but I, I think wow. for Tato, they sit down already. Uh, Italians is like the typical thing for him. He has done, he has played Italian so many times on shows already. Uh, also showcased that in the qualifiers. So I would be surprised to see something else uh, than than Italians here. And on the other side, we have very interesting Are civilizations you? for Viper. Okay, but which one is gonna be? I have no idea. Because if you pick Persians, you want to pick uh, it, and I don't see Persians on Arabia or on Arena, no. Per yeah, like okay, but Slavs? then I prefer Malians or not? S Malians, I suppose, is going to be for Arabia. That's an Arabia sieve for sure. Sh then we have Arena open as well. Arena could be either Slavs or Georgians. I think it is more Georgians, and that's why I think it will actually be Slavs for Scholes. But is does that Georgians, make sense? Is Georgians good or no? No, on Arena. Yeah, they have very strong uh, economy, right? So okay. maybe he's basing that there. But maybe slaps on arena. I'm, I'm actually not sure. But usually you want to have bombard cans access. So it is hard for me. I, it's not really clear for me what Viper is going to play there, actually. Okay, we're gonna discover in a moment. This has been a nice game, the previous one. And doubt is a legend, man. Now that no, he now he is focusing on the things. Don't, don't listen. The good things we say about doubt has to be when he doesn't listen, because he not. He say go go, you know, yeah, to yeah. the haven, and yeah, yeah. then you can, you know, yeah, yeah. better to troll when he listen, and then when he doesn't listen, all the compliments. Yes, 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 exactly, exactly. Okay, we see both players are very focused right now. I'm pretty sure they're about to jump into game number C, and here we have Arabia. it. And it is Arabia. Doubt is a troll. <laughs> just, just imagine yeah, Arabia yeah. going uh, very long as well. Persians like, could be right. Persians. Ah, oh, okay. Viper with Persians. the Persians here, yeah. and Tato with Tatars. Tato, absolutely a big fan of Tatars. And funny enough, Tatars have an extremely bad win rate in uh, in general in, in the ladder, right? So, uh, let's see. But and Tato, he that? loves it. I mean, I'm trying to put the civilization, but it seems that it's not working. It's now not it is. Okay, so Tato with Tatars, uh, they have uh, the civilization bonuses of uh, the sheep lasting 50% faster so you get a little bit more food out of them uh, big thing for them is also that if they are on a hill and they're attacking down or up depends uh, they they get 25% less damage uh, and also 25% more attack so they're very strong if it's about hilly maps as you can position your units there uh, they also have a very big thing of uh, getting thumbring and parsing tactics for free that's really helpful for your timing attacks uh, early cast age and uh, well, also see, very nice see, sorry that I interrupt you a, l a very hilly map. Also. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. So that's very nice for, for Tato here. And also TCs are spawning two extra sheep as well. So very nice for the boom. Persons on the other side, uh, you start with 50 more food and wood. So that gives your flexibility on the build order a little bit more room. Town centers are producing the villages a little bit faster as well, depending on which age you are. Knights have plus two attack against the archer units. Um, and yeah, Parth and Tactics, that's a very new addition for the Persians. It is already available in Castledge compared to in Privilege. Can we see a Cavarches battle in this one? Mm, it, it could, could still be an yeah. advantage for Tatars. I uh, exactly, no? it could be, but as Persians you don't really want to go that route. Uh, if you go into Castle Age, you'd rather have uh, Skirmishers and uh, Cavalry units because that's uh, playing against uh, the strengths of your opponent. Okay, then uh, economy-wise, uh, even if this uh, ship bonus is great for Tatars, a Persian's economy here is on point. So maybe the Vipers will try to push early 
like go agro because your economy you can afford it yeah and i i think that's also something we will see uh, with persons with the extra resources at the beginning it is you know very nice and it's kind of inviting for the early aggression we see now if that uh, that is the viper viper right yeah uh, i was a little bit confused about the red color here um viper here with the setup a 19 pop up so it is quick it is not super super quick 18 pop would be the fastest you can do here uh, but yeah, 19 pop. So he will, as he's not on gold, he will open with the scouts uh, and take it from there. And on the other side, we see Tato here with uh, pushing the deer here, not on gold as well. So both players will go with the stable opening. Okay, they're going to go for, for the scouts. Love to see the POV as well. Very, very interesting. And here we are back with the cameras and with the reactions. How can affect these kind of games uh, to, to the players? Like, don't think <coughs> this any big impact right like I it's a game that uh, you can lose i mean the previous one uh, i would say both them are very stable in, in that regard so uh, they will not be impacted at all by that but uh, of course other players could have the potential to you know tilt a little bit especially if there is such a long game you don't really want to lose because you feel like everything has been wasted there and indeed we see both uh, players going for the stable uh, Viper uh, up a little bit faster here, and uh, that's also very nice with the persons, right? As the TC works faster, means also the upgrade of the age up is going to be slightly faster as well. Ooh, that the scout is trying to lame. Oh, the okay, age of gates. There you go, trying to lame, but he can't, and you don't want to lame. He lost. He lost two ships. He lost two sheep. Uh, I mean, hundred foot. Uh, th that's a lot actually, because Ooh. yeah, Tato lost some HP on the on the scout, but. That's not <laughs> worth it for Viper, right? He yeah. uh, losing 200 uh, food there in the sheeps is uh, kind of disastrous. And that was very well played by Tato, we have to say. Yeah, very, very nice. Horse caller already on on the way. And I'm checking the goal uh, position because we didn't mention about that. And the goal for Tato is at the back. Well, uh, the goal for the Viper, mm, don't like that, are, that goal. Uh, no, it's very exposed, right? And there is a extremely big hill here so viper is going to pay a lot of attention and focus to get the control on this hill because if he loses it and tato camps it with a siege workshop for example mangonels that's going to be absolutely lethal for him so yeah fortunately for him uh, the hill is very close to his base so he should in theory have uh, a, a easier time to to get that one and uh, tato he's capable of getting in there and viper you know he was uh, a little bit slow with the reaction we see the play once again here and the yeah, viper with the quick walls here and then we see him doing that every once in a while yeah but it, but yeah, but you can see that it wasn't even a note man it's crazy and like, he took two ships from there 200 foot which is quite a lot he's now spamming spamming farms the snake tato is trying to make the damage with the scout he explored quite a lot but uh, in this position, you don't want to be defending with Persians. You want to have the, the initiative, and it's not happening for now. Yeah, for now, he's not. We see Archer range uh, being added by Tato. Also, same moment, he's transitioning into uh, the gold as well with three villages. So he will uh, continuously play or produce archers here. And Viper on the other side, he's defending completely right now. He's not really taking any damage one nice hit with the spearman and man that's such a beautiful feeling if you're able to uh, you know get a hit in with the spearman against the scout yeah i i think it it is i'm trying to to get that feeling yeah not happening uh, it ha no. happens yeah. very seldomly right but if it happens it's a it's a nice one thank you for your the confidence always okay. always there to back you up man yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I, I love you too thank you for for a scout at really really low hp and now are they going to add more army, or you think that they're going to go for Plasmid Castle Age? What are your feeling? <coughs> so, Viper right now wants to go Castle Age as soon as possible. By the looks of it, he has not added a archery range as of now. Um, he will get the confirmation that Tato is on the archery range, so he should react very soon, but he doesn't, as far as I know. Vodka, maybe you can uh, confirm that he has not spotted the archery range yet. Viper has. Oh, he has. Okay, so... There should be, in theory, an uh, archer range coming up for Viper as well to get some skirms out in order to counter the uh, incoming archers. There yeah, and we see... Is there. Is there. Is there. Well, he's gonna, he's gonna be like this. Now will be a skirmisher. Let's see this engagement, if he's gonna be able to do the job, because many scouts are low HP, but he has the two spears. Remember that the hill advantage gives a big bonus here to Tatars. He's going back now. He 
he bring those spears and now he's coming with the archers no fletching though i don't see blasmith as well so i believe he's gonna be without oh he's there actually fletching is so important and he is doing the upgrade this can be a very very important moment in the game because if you check the numbers also Tatot not only getting the upgrade but has more numbers he has more numbers and uh, man we talked about this early of this game with the hills this is yeah so hard to engage against this army for Viper because it is very likely that Tato manages to get the up, upper ground on the hill and then <coughs> all of a sudden your uh, units are so much stronger so you have to be very cautious in the way how you defend here how you engage and right now they're both kind of playing uh, ring around the rosy here uh, Bloodlines incoming for Viper I like that move but he needs to buy himself a little bit more time uh, scale barding armor is uh, kind of a necessary thing for him as well uh, but it's, it is tough. Tato, if he adds a little bit more scouts and more archers, he's going to be in a very, very good position. Well, he still has some skirmishes. He has to be definitely careful here, the, the Viper. As we can see, the economy for Persians is so solid. With the same idle time, they have already two, close to three villages more. Look at this. You know, it's 39 to 36. That's pretty sick. That's really, really sick. He did the bloodless already, and... He's trying to make engagement. He knows that the units are close, but he's not finding. And Tato's resources are starting to look scary. Ah, and Tato is fully walled. So he doesn't need yeah. to invest anymore into any Fuel Age army because he knows exactly, hey, I'm safe at home. I can be annoying to you because you are still exposed, especially with the main gold. So he can. he's in a perfect position right now. Uh, especially he will get the notification that uh, Viper's army is going to attack him with those scouts. That means, oh, I have time to attack you, and you're not going to be able to deal damage to me. So it feels like right now the bloodlines was kind of wasted because they're not engaging right now, oh but man. it's so tough. And uh, Tato is just uh, using the market, uh, selling one her stone here, buying the food, and therefore up to castage, while Viper only at 300 food right now. He will have such a huge uh, advantage here, Tato. Wow, I mean, really, really wow. Population is almost the same for this investment. He has the bloodlines. He's trying to go inside. He need to break there. He definitely need to break in. Otherwise, it's going to be a problem. Is there a hole if he's taking that house? No, I think he's completely walled with the other two houses behind this. But, well, this is person's echo. In a moment, he will have the resources to go up. And it's going to be probably one minute. It's open! It's open! There's a hole! I was wondering if with that hill it happens. It happens all the time with those hills that the holes happen. And now, this is a disaster for that dot economy. This is such a big thing. So crazy because he will he will kill so many villagers yeah. and so much idle time. In the meantime, he's able uh, to go up himself. So he's not so much behind. One village kill only. But ooh, and now that army behind the, behind the, the Viper Vesky, who is up to castle as well. And still, all the villages are not working. All yeah. out of wood. Now all the villages is, you know, all they call idle. Now it's gonna be idle time for the Viper. He still probably delete some farm there. One village gonna be down. After all these, one one echo KD. But this is great for the Viper because otherwise he might with Thumbrin uh, for Tatars as well, it will be massive. Oh my god, that the economy. Well, what economy, right? Oh, it's not existent. And uh, one of the big things is he sold his stone, therefore he does not have stone for tower. If he had the stone, he could have built the tower on the main gold and the wood line, and he would, in theory, been fine. But this is just absolute disaster. He's faster into castle HS, but he doesn't have resources to produce anything, man. Nothing, nothing. Because he has, well, bought King Arrow and, and thanks. You know, and thanks. It's true that he has some army here. He's going to try to take some more villages. He has to be careful, the snake, who also does have the best economy ever. Look at the wood. But he has a lot of food and gold. And doing another stable, so he's going to produce knights or camels. And plus two, no, it's 600 gold. That he has a market, the Viper? I don't think he has a market, the Viper. Uh, that kid is enjoying, you know? Yeah, the kid is enjoying. He knows exactly how, how to enjoy life here. Uh, there is indeed a market, and the market in these kind of situations, man, is literally the most important building because you're able to balance your economy so smoothly with the market. And uh, yeah, Viper, even though he has been harassed here from Tato as well, the way he dealt the damage to Tato was just way more significant. And uh, yeah, Tato is just hanging by a threat right now, man. Yeah, but after all this population ahead for Tato, I don't know if the Viper know that goal. I will go for the Viper point of view, Botka, if you can, and Somi, if he can see that goal. I believe he does. Yeah, 
Uh, okay, well, that's that the point of view. Now the Viper. Oh, oh he, he sees, sees it. it. He sees, he sees it, it, right? But he, but he probably doesn't realize because if you check the minimap, you barely can see it. You yeah, know? yeah. You don't see it on the minimap. Like you have to you have, have to focus, laser right? yeah. eyes, right, in order to do so. And now there is one knight, uh, you know, trying to engage here. But there are five spearmen, and you have to respect those spearmen as uh, they are just pretty nice against the knights. How many knights? With Bloodlines plus one, he need to clean that. Uh, oh, but he see it. We were talking about the goal, and he definitely see the goal. Those knights have no answer right now. Only one oh. cap arches. The disaster continues. The game is going, getting closer and closer to the Viper. Unbelievable game. Unbelievable game. Because oh, for one hole, that Viper got it, and he is taking game number three. Two, one for the Viper. You know who's cheering the most right now? Doubt. Yeah. He is cheering the most right now. No, but this is, you also saw the facial expression by Tatu. Like, he, he was just devastated by that hole. And honestly, that hole, that cost him the game. Yeah. He was in such a good position. He was supposedly to be walled. He had uh, army aggressive against Viper, and Viper was not walled. So he had guaranteed damage uh, against Viper, but what he took way too, more, what uh, too much. What is that doing? What is that doing? It's not on purpose, right? <laughs> <laughs> he, he actually looks like he's thinking. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> and that, that's not how I know him. Okay. Mr. Doubt. But now we have Scholz or Arena. It will be Scholz for sure. Scholz, right? No. Okay, so we're going to go back to Italians versus potentially... Which one do you think is going to be? Malians here on Scholz? Good uh, bonus for the wood. Uh, I guess, it, yeah, it, uh, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. see the others here. And Malians no. also give you knights, camels, monks, bomber cannons. The bomber cannons is the big thing. That right. you need it. Yeah. You need it in this, in that approach, yeah. with that map, you know. But now we can talk about that. I think this kind of game with the hole affect a lot more than losing a, a one-hour game. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. It's, it's just annoying. devastating, right? It's, it's just annoying. a simple like, mistake, right? Uh, but the hills. Uh, you mentioned it, Mem. It is so easy to to have this happen to you, and it's so hard to prevent that, right? You have to kind of wall preemptively three sides in order to really ensure that you're not. And, and it's so hard on the ice. It's just it can happen to anyone. Unfortunately, it happened on on this very important game for Tato. But uh, the the important thing here is, as a player, you have to keep that in the past and uh, focus on the on the future. Okay. Uh I don't know yet. I believe it's going to be Scholes. Uh, are you surprised about the Arena pick from the Viper against Tato? Because Tato has very good results in general on Arena. Maybe he has something planned because it's not it that looks Viper like... not play, but you know. Yeah, let's see. Okay, we oh, have Arena. Arena. It's not Scholes. Yeah, it's, it's, it's okay. Slavs. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so Slavs uh, was the second pick by Viper. So I suppose that he has something planned here. And I wonder what it is going to be, because Spanish was the pick after Slav. So it's not like uh, Viper was thinking about, okay, Tato is going to pick Spanish, and I will counter it with uh, Slav. That's not how it is working here. So I wonder, you know, Slavs are excelling in the economy. The farmers are working faster. Maybe, ma'am, this is the time that we can display the information here so the viewers can see it as well. So uh, Slavs. As mentioned, that's what they are known for. 15% faster farmers, and that's such a huge thing because uh, there's a lot of food uh, units involved in the in the cast age with the, the light calf, so that's really beneficial for Slavs. But I, there's one thing, and then we focus on Spanish, that I don't like for the Viper map here. This close to to Spanish, to Tato, this distance is terrible for Slavs. Absolutely. You need a lot bigger distance, because I was thinking that maybe who could go fast feudal, make even some scout, preventing a forward castle, yep. I don't know, to do something. But with this uh, arena map, this is much better for Tato. Uh, absolutely. Uh, usually with uh, Spanish, you go for the lovely unit, the unique unit called the Conquistador, and in my opinion the strongest Castle Age unit we have in, in the game, especially if we're talking about early Castle Age, and uh, it just deals so much damage, right? Uh, also, Spanish, they are working a little bit faster, 30% faster building rate for them. The Blacksmith upgrades, they cost no gold whatsoever, so that's very nice for them as well. Uh, the Cannon Galleons fire 18% fa faster. I don't think we will see any uh, Cannon Galleons here on, on Arena map. I'm not sure how you would evaluate the situation here. And uh, it's also... It's a bad map. We need Pawn Arena, uh, you know? Uh, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. And one thing to mention as well, uh, Spanish get 20 gold into their 
um, a bank account, uh, I will call it, uh, upon reaching or researching technologies. As a Spanish, I never understood these things. Why? All these bonus. <laughs> as a Spanish, about the economy, let's uh, move on. Uh, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I was about to ask you, <laughs> no, no, where no. is it coming from that the 30% uh, faster? No, no, no. Yeah, okay. no, not from my city. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anyway, Spanish and Slavs is going to go for, for a castle because we still see a lot of times going to scouts, even if it's Spanish. Or you think that here the castle drop is the way to go? It must be. Uh, you cannot play a light calf against uh, Slavs. Economy-wise, you're just going to fall behind uh, too much. So uh, the only play for Tato m is going to be the Conquistors. I would be heavily surprised to see anything else. The good thing for Slavs, though, is that the monks are a little bit faster, right? So. The way you defend it against the Conquistadors is uh, you open two monasteries, uh, pump out as many monks as possible. However, now with uh, uh, Devotion uh, part of the game as well, you kind of get a resistance in cast age for your units. So maybe Tato is thinking he can make something happen with, with that playstyle, but we don't see him on stone yet, so maybe I'm completely uh, off the charts here and uh, completely wrong. Viper Could happen. Yeah, Viper is going up very quick, 23 population, uh, with two on goal. It's going to be Market Blacksmith. Yep. Market Blacksmith and then two Monasteries. Oh, man. And oh. I love that approach, right? Because that way he's going to be faster. Uh, if you see your opponent up so fast, you don't want to take the risk of going for Fort Castle. Because in theory, it could also be Fuel Age play. That's something Tato did already once against, I think it was Monsieur in a different tournament where um, he just denied uh, the forward cast with fuel age play. Because now we check POV from uh, from Tato and we see that he only sees his base. Yeah. They are blind here. Yep. Both yep. players actually. Let's check on the Viper POV to see if he's already spurring. Not really. Not really. Why the players, they love to play with blue. You see, they, they are out and they are both playing with the blue. Well, maybe this is the, the color that they feel more comfortable, but uh, it's going to be up. It's already in feudal. He's in feudal, uh, two more villagers gathered in there, and uh, let's see if he's going to be capable of uh, going Castle Age uh, without any delay, because the build he does, Mamp, is the tightest build you can do. Like 23 into Feudal Age, 25 into Castle Age, it doesn't get better than that. And uh, let's see his idle TC time uh, before he's going up to cast age. It should he's be up. on me. He's yeah, zero, zero seconds. That's uh, like if you guys want to learn a build order for arena with nine villagers and you want to be as fast as possible into booming uh, with monk defense, that's the build to to look for. Yeah, get this recorded game. It is okay. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah he is a good source, I think. Oh. Bible is on goal. He has only one farmer. Double attacks. Uh, he's gonna make horse corner as well, or he's gonna wait? Because I don't know if he has resources then to make. Uh, no, he, he sells yeah. the stone even. He sells. He sells the stone. That the means stone. That means he will focus uh, completely on monk play. Ah, yeah, okay. completely monk play into two monasteries at least, and no TCs being added. So with that approach, I doubt he will go for horse color because you need the yep. wood for uh, the monasteries. Uh, very interesting approach, actually. Uh, let's let's see how it goes. Uh, I mean, it is okay. However, Tato, he only has two on stone. Mamp, it's not to go in for a, for a castle. Not the, not a fast not one right away. Exactly. There are a lot of mind games in this game, and that's what I love about Arena. It's not the classical. Uh, strategies uh, like on Arabia where you have uh, two, three, which are very common. This is very, very tricky. Four. Very tricky. But this yeah. is better for the Viper, 100%, because uh, Datot is not going for a castle and also doesn't have a stable. He has a barrack. So he's going to be, what army is going to have to, to counter here? The monks as well? He, he will have a little bit of time uh, to to get resources for the castle. So that's good for him. It is very good for him that he's already in stone. However, it's hard to assess the, the situation right now. I think he should still be fine. However, Viper should be capable of getting the extra relics here. And Ooh, it's not double monastery. He's going siege. Interesting. He's going siege. A ram, a mangonel? He might not ram right away. It must be a ram. Uh, ram and the then mangonel. Uh, first and then mangonel after. Maybe a scorpion as well, uh, because it's a little bit uh, cheaper and it already co accomplishes a lot as well. So. Yeah, let's see. Um, I wonder, map if that works out because the the build is very 
Very tight, so... Scorpion first, no Ram, no Magnolia, Scorpion first for the Viper, okay. Because now Viper because doesn't of the know... Spears. Exactly. And he doesn't know if he's coming also with a Scout and a Spears. It's only Spears which he's bringing. Now second Monastery, and Tato does 400 stone, but zero villages on gold. Zero villages on gold, and we see immediately eight villagers being pulled onto the stone yeah. for, for Tato. So he will be ready with the castle defense. Uh, I love what uh, Viper did there. He had the conversion on the one Spearman. Th uh, Tato deleted it and Viper went for the other one right away. So he killed two Spearmen without any problem whatsoever. And we see Viper now with the position on the front, getting the relics. And that's so beautiful uh, strategically by him because usually uh, the Spanish player will have access to the relics as uh, you cannot really fight against the mobility of the Conquistadors. Would you mind here a uh, one to see only the Viper and going to Imperial? Like getting all the relics and try to keep all the pressure or you think he's gonna go for four economy? The fact that he sold his stone tells me he will go for a one TC play. Even though that's not Viper style at all. So I I'm really curious. However, Tato, he's completely shifting. <laughs> He's doing something completely different. Uh, will be ready for the castle defense if he sees a ram on his wall and he's adding economy here. But the Viper feels, I feel that Viper is forced to do that strategy, Jordan, because if not, he's going to fall behind so much in, in, in Echo. So if he's yeah, doing sure. some aggression now or fast imp, uh, three TCs already for, for Tatot and he's not taking any damage. He's going to lose that monk. He's going to convert. No. There's no way to convert again. Oh! If he take it the second, no, not converting those monks now. Well, don't convert the scout at all and uh, bring in already the third relic in minute 15. Yeah, that's a very healthy time here. Oh no, never mind. My prediction was wrong. We see Viper with the buying stone, so he will uh, expand his economy. And oh I'm not man, sure. Oh man, the block, the block, but he got mm. it and saved the monk. Okay. There was a clutch play here from uh, from Viper. It could have gone uh, the wrong way, but uh, he managed to get the scout here before uh, the monk died. And now it is so important which decisions you make. So important. Is he buying himself the wood to get the TC? Yeah, he does. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So uh, he has the relics. Style. It's not it's his style. The one TC player, yeah, I, I thought so as well. Oh, but the ram is coming now. Did he make sanity? Can which uh, the viper did sanity? Uh, no, I think it's really important now. Oh, it's Ob a must. Yeah. Obviously, he doesn't know that he has a castle there, but uh, no matter what, I mean, if you're going to try to be aggressive, sanity need to be done. Yeah, for for sure. Um, uh, with the extra TCs by Tato, he will have a much better economy compared to Viper. Uh, viper. He will try to put the under pressure with those monks. In the meantime, try to expand his economy again. Uh, let's see how it works out, man. Uh, I'm curious myself because I have not seen those kind of games uh, too often. Yeah, I mean, it's completely different. I mean, I enjoy a lot more these arenas approach than the normal scout with yeah, the monk, you know, yeah, because yeah, now sure. we don't really know what is going to be. What I like it, the Viper POV with the Fog of War, if it's possible, so we see if he's going to find the... The, the, the castle, he's in the mangrel, he doesn't see the castle, the castle is at the back, but this is what the Viper is trying to do with this scout. He needs the intel, what his opponent is uh, doing right now. He gets the confirmation about a second TC, he sees a siege workshop there as well. And the most important thing for him right now is to get the confirmation, is there a castle there or Why not? Why that? Because there's possibility also with petars, right? Some petars, sneaky, yeah. sneaky Kong or whatever, but look how far he did that castle and no, he doesn't see the castle. So what is now Viper going to be thinking? <laughs> it's hard to, yeah. to, to predict. Uh, he, he saw the third TC, if I'm not mistaken. So he yeah. knows that his opponent is playing it economy uh, focused. He doesn't know yet. He can only assume that his opponent is on uh, has a cast. And will he kill that Mangala? I don't think he will, man. Don't think he will. He's sudden. I mean, he's trying, but he's very close now to the TC. No, now he's gonna move, and that the scout is still alive forever. He's gonna kill and redemption here. Well, ah, oh, but the petas are coming. The petas are coming. I told you, the pet. Menstradamus is still there, Mr. Man, you, know, you, know, you, you know, know. And he delete that one. And if he's going for the petas, the, the massive damage can happen. But the Viper can see now the hole. He can see the delete in the wall. And now he knows that he's going to come with the petas. Otherwise, when well, you have that, 
deleted the insane. And now the snake is gonna find the castle. He never find I mean damage with these kind of things. It's it's crazy. He, for one reason or another, it's crazy, man. He always find these kind of holes that you call it, you know? That is it's insane. Yeah, he knows, uh, man. Like what happened is just uh, beautiful to witness, man, because Tato had a perfect counter strategy to what Viper threw at him, but Viper upon seeing that he will, you know, cancel, abandon the entire mission, get those relics into the safety, play the long game, take a little bit more time, and build up his economy. Yeah, Just it's beautiful to see. Nice. Loom, Sanity already, look at the Scorpion, he's sending it back, he might lose the Scorpion, but now he has the Monks, and those are not the Scouts, he can't convert the Kongs. Morville is for Tato, so but the Viper is, is now in a very good position. So good. This is... This is so nice to see. I, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm yeah. impressed. And the fact that he was able to scout that hole there, I, I really want to ask him after this set is done, Washington was that intentional? Yeah. The answer most likely is going to be yes. Uh, I would not have thought about that, honestly. Yeah. Okay, let's see what is, what is going to happen. Also, he has micro that the scout forever. He was trying to kill Tato all the time, and he couldn't. This is a now a forward castle. That castle is going to try to put the pressure. So let's see if he's going to be go now full castle. It's a pro from Tato, or will try to go in bit of faster than his opponent. But that castle is going to take so much map control, but the relics are already safe. These players know each other, right? Uh, they know each other, and the thing is, Devotion here for Tato as well. So it takes a little bit longer to get the conversions in. And this castle here is so beautiful. Tato will have so much map presence with that. Uh, Viper with the monasteries, he will have the intel. And now we have an engagement incoming. Okay, the gate is down. The gate is Oh, the castle, the castle, there's a run. Be careful, you might lose. No, you have to be careful. Remember that you got redemption. He doesn't know that he has redemption. He's going to convert the mangler. He deleted, but now the Viper is going to lose. Absolutely. Everything or not, Mr. Jordan? Is he a good trade here for the snake? Uh, this is, I think it was not good for Viper. Uh, it feels like he will lose so many villagers right now against those conquistors. The castle is not going to go up without any villager losses, that's for sure. He has two monks, that's nice, but there is going to be so much uh, micro action happening right now. Yeah, but Never mind, nice. ma'am. I don't know. Imperial, Imperial for Tato, the advantage is for the Spaniard, he's on the way to Imperial, it's true that the Viper is not too far from going up and almost the same village, so is it still an even game here, even with the, this map control that belongs to the uh, to Tatito? I actually think Viper is in an okay situation just because of the fact he has the same village account as his opponent and he already has hand card. He has heavy plow, oh, wow. so that's very nice for him. Yeah. So he has an economy, he can definitely work with a lot. And the most important thing, man, five relics for him. So that's oh, very, very healthy. The biggest issue for Slavs is that they don't have access to bomber cans. Spanish, they do have that. So, so uh, however, there are monks, redemption monks, for, for the Slav player, for Viper. So, you know, he has tools in theory, even though he doesn't have, bom uh, have bomber cans himself, to go for the counter unit with the monks. However, he already goes for masonry. He knows exactly how the next minutes are going to look like. There's a trebuchet war going to happen, and it's all about getting more position on the map. Yeah, who is taking that castle down or not is gonna be crucial. Remember that also those monks has access to blood printing. Love it. Yeah, look at this micro here. Look at this micro for both players, not getting any conversion, the, the Viper not losing anything. Also, Tato going away, but that's kind of trap here. That's kind of trap. I don't know if you want to be there. Because there's four monks that are going to be trying to convert again. Oh, the bloodlines. But if you convert and you have the bloodlines, even better for the Viper. But now he's going to try to commit. He's committing. He's committing. There's more army. He's going to raid and take it. How many? One, two villages already down. And population is better for Tatito than has two castles. So if he's producing now few trebuchet, it's going to be very hard for oh, the snake. Oh, look at the castle position of Tato. That's so much on his face. Wow, that's really forcing the issue. So this game is going to be decided in the next minutes, I feel. Because Tato is putting on the aggression so hard and I think that's the right move because he knows there are five relics working against him. So he needs to force the issue, right? Because long-term Viper is going to be in the better position. 
I love what Tato is doing right now. Definitely on his face, that's not a chicken castle, Mr. Jordan. That's an amazing one. Taking the gold, taking the TC, taking the farmers, taking everything, absolutely everything. Blood printing and illumination. Let's go. Those are the upgrades. Military numbers, not so much army yet, but the map control belongs. Definitely for Tato. Those conquistos can already be more. And even if he's not killing a lot, it's still a lot of bullets not working properly for the Viper yeah. in the last five minutes. Exactly. And he's causing so much havoc here onto Viper's economy. Look at how many villagers have to run for their lives here in order to secure themselves uh, alive against those conquistadors. As I said uh, earlier, the conquistadors, they're so strong. I would love to see Viper doing a quick wall on the top there so the monks can actually get conversions in. And we see now a very stalemate situation. Castles against castles, traps against traps. This is going to be very interesting. However, Viper really putting the, the focus on getting more HP here for those castles. And I think Tato, he has chemistry incoming, yes, but he has no uh, HP upgrade on those castles. And that's going to be very, very problematic for him. Yeah, he's gonna take the castle down. Those trebles are going to probably down. Now with those monks, if he convert the, 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 the conquistadors, it's gonna be a problem as well. And those trebles are in danger to be lost. He's sending the manual, but he's sending too early, he's sending too early, he's sending too early. Maybe not. Oh, he's not in the race because no fletching. No, he has fletching that. Not only fletching. He lost it, but he lost the castle too. Now he's gonna lose the castle as well or not? I don't know. He did ballistic, but he does a botkin arrow. This position is better for who? Look at the score, Mr. Mr. Jordan. And population very close. This is such a close game, and it is very hard to predict which uh, player is going to come ahead here. Ooh. Both players lost one of their castles here. But the conversions are being now crucial here. He's starting to lose the count. Look at the military numbers. It's pretty much the same. So you need to take the traps. You have to take the traps, right? And uh, right now it feels like Tato has five, Viper only two here, ma'am. So in all of a sudden, I don't know how it happened. Tato managed to get the advantage here, and it feels like he's very close to, uh, you know, putting so much pressure that Viper will even lose the the uh, second castle he has, and he doesn't have any stone on in the bank right now. Nope. And Tato with 700 almost. Yeah, the, well, the problem, the difference is it was three castles versus two, right? Uh, so that's the problem. He's converting more conquistadors. Military numbers is still similar, but. Tato is going to add cavalry. This castle is going to go down his five trap, which is there's no way that that castle is going to hold any any longer. No, it, it will go down. Uh, there's no chance whatsoever. And we see population wise, both players are very close uh, to each other. However, it looks like the main defensive force of Viper has been broken here. And there is only so much Viper can do right now against those Kongs. Well, uh, how many monks got the Viper right now? Zero! Zero! Literally zero monks. He got four spears, two threads, one ram, and we're gonna see favorite map from Dao that he's really looking forward to seeing the decider show, right? He Let's can't go. wait for this because how he can come back here, the Viper? Yeah. I think he cannot, and we're gonna have what we thought. Uh, uh, five game series. It, it kind of looks like that, right? Uh, I mean, Viper is doing an amazing job expanding on the left hand side. Uh, the question is. Is he going to have the time? We asked ourselves that question already in game number two. We see the Spanish villagers. Supremacy they is. are so oh. strong, killing everything in a second here. No, and he doesn't. Uh, totally. he, uh, okay. Forward castle. Yeah, Viper oh has to tap God. out. Like, uh, wh what can you do in order to defend against it? It's just like impossible, right? It seems to be really, really impossible. Resources collected is so similar. Why? Because the Viper has the five relics. But if you think about the food and so on, a lot more. A lot more for Tato. I'm sure about that. Well, the Viper has no army. He has just villas. And this way, Tato will take all the map. He's taking all the map already. Ladies and gentlemen, game number five. It's almost guaranteed. A beautiful uh, execution here by Tato. And uh, now even the monastery, which had all those relics in, in there, uh, was going uh, down as well. Man, uh, uh, Viper, Sars. Viper doesn't have anything going for him anymore. Ooh. And it's not like Tato is doing a 1TC push here. He has 137 villagers. And his economy is just absolutely cruising. And as Slavs, as Slavs especially here, you don't have any answer to that. And this is a break point because that was home map from the Viper. Tato yeah. took it in a position 2-1 down. And now he's going to play the game number 5 with a home map 
that belong to the Spaniard. It's not that the Viper cannot have a strategy, but maybe Tato has something planned there. I'm pretty sure he has, you know. Uh, also, the fact that he picked the home map of uh, Viper first tells me he wanted to prevent to have his home map being displayed as game number four. In case he loses Arena, you know, he would have lost the set anyway. So you want to uh, preserve all the strategies you have as long as possible. And uh, now I think we're close to Check the population the Viper. seeing he's Viper still, still holding quiet, on. <laughs> he's too calm, man. But the unit composition is going yeah. to be hard. It is really going to be hard. I mean, Viper's economy is really healthy. Yeah. We have 124 villages for him, right? But he's losing the relics now, so he's losing yeah. the relics. This is crazy, man. I mean, he has moved. He has no base. He has no base right now, and he has all the farmers out of arena. Yeah. You know, that's that's insane. Am I in the red that he can do here? Do you really think that he feels that he can come back here? Because it, it surprised me, you know? It's 4,000 score difference. Now we have Supremacy incoming. And he gets the relics, man. Oh, yeah. this is so painful for Viper. He really fought hard to get those relics, and he invested a yep. lot into getting them, but it was not really paying off. He's doing it on purpose, man, because he knows that after this is Doubt versus here. Right? Yeah. Viper, you usually, you know, like, yeah, I, 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 I keep going, you know, yeah. I want to keep going. Yeah. Oh, it's Halber Tears. Obviously, this is a joke, guys, we're joking, but Halves, with how many upgrades? Plus two. Hussars so it's not bad. Solid. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And Halberdiers are really shredding those Hussars, right? Yeah. If Viper somehow manages to get into Siege Ramps as well, then there could be a potential. Kills one oh trebuchet. That was very nice for him. However, his army is not the best against Spanish villagers as well. He needs to add in Hussars as well. But, you know, there's a lot of... Uh, Viper has to do this. Viper has to do this in order to win. For Tato... It looks so much better. He has map control. He's about to get iron casting as well. Uh, elite conquistadors. Supplies. And supplies. Supplies. <laughs> doing everything. Uh, all the upgrades. He has 64 farmers. He has now one relic in the bank. The halberdiers are going to clean those probably, yes. Oh, wow. He managed to have so many halves. Population, 170. He's doing champions or transitioning into infantry because he's thinking, okay, this is a lot of halves, but now why you send the halves to the Kongs? I don't think you should send it there. How about this to be connected with those skirmishers? Yeah, it was a little bit of a misplay <laughs> by Viper. Uh, caught off uh, guard in, in that situation. It is so tough, right? And uh, Viper really wants to kill that castle with those three trebuchets. The question, ma'am, is he going to be in time here? Because the champions are knocking on the door, and if they are out, there's just no unit Viper has on the field right now that is good against champions. Yeah, well, he could try to go infantry himself, but that was if he got a healthy economy, which is not the case. Now the Halberdiers are going to defend those threats. Maybe he's going to be able to take that castle. I'm not sure, because Tatut has a lot of villains on on that castle repairing and on a stone. So Halberdiers will try to kill those Kongs. One trip with it down, it's still four trips and bomber cannons. This is looks so, so hard for the snake. Yeah, and Viper and is forced to as hard here. as he called the GG game number five, as we kinda expected, Mr. Jordan, because these two are closer than ever in in it is. Oh one percent. One percent. Uh it feels like Tato has stepped it up uh, throughout the last uh, weeks and months and uh, he really showcases there and man, but let's be honest, on Arabia, he had the lead in my opinion as well. It true. was not game deciding true, true, no, true. for sure not, but well, one he mistake had at his level, you know, one mistake or, or yeah. one for me that's not even a mistake. Because in those yeah. hills it cannot, happens. It happens, you happens. know, it happens. And the interesting thing here is both arena stylish maps, Tate One and Scholz, it's not the typical arena, but the Le gameplay is very similar. Let's be honest, it's arena with water. It, it <laughs> is arena with water, right? <laughs> so much. I feel like Tato, especially with his home map, especially with Italians on the board as well for him, I doubt it is going to be Magyars. I'm almost 100% sure that it is not going to be Magyars. We will see Italians here. And maybe Tato, he told me today he wants to have snake for dinner. Maybe he will try to make Viper suffer as we did in the Colosseum earlier. It's not vegan? No. It's not vegan? Okay. 
Snake for dinner, guys. You know. Snake for the dinner. <laughs> and uh, Viper wanted, uh, I think, tapas for for dinner. So <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. You know, someone is going to have else? a feast today. Okay. Uh, Italians versus Malians. Malians has to be. It must be. You Malians. need the bomber cannons, right? It must. Be. I don't see Mon Monaspa here. Maybe. I mean. You can go don't for see the it. late game here with Monaspa, good economy as well. But Bomber Cannons, we have seen how powerful they are. And Italians, Genoese, Crossbow. Oh, yeah. Nice, Malians. Also, Malians could have champions plus seven, Pierce that's, Armor. That's the thing. That's uh, strong. They don't have the best border, but they have access to. We will see in a Fast moment. Fast Malians against Italians. Yeah, so it's, it's not it's the biggest surprise. It's, it's right? what we expect. I mean, it's, it's, it's what we expect. Who would pick Georgians here? Yeah. And we can analyze now the civilizations because this would be a, a Fast Castle approach. Oh, for sure. Right? Like, the, the meta is pretty clear here. No one is going for any aggression whatsoever. So, Fast Castle is going to be the play here for both players, most likely. And the map is... It is way different compared to the other uh, maps uh, out there in NAC because we have uh, the situation where there is a big lake uh, in the middle. However, this lake is a little bit different compared to the other um, maps we have in Age of Empires because it only uh, has shorefish instead of also deep fish. So you have to find the right balance here between uh, you know, going to water and uh, balancing your economy on the land. Also, that tower that we see there, it makes a difference as well. You don't want to super overcommit because uh, you move those fishing ships or fire galleys there and the towers just yep. take them. Yeah, yeah. Maybe uh, talking about the <laughs> civilizations here, I was a little bit late on that. So let's uh, start it off with Malians. Uh, Malians have a huge advantage that their buildings cost minus 15% wood. So that's very nice for them. That means they can. Uh, you know, save a little bit more on the wood and uh, spend that on uh, hybrid map aggressions. Could be, right? We we could see stable siege workshop and monastery uh, as uh, the aggressive part. Would love to see that from, from Viper there in order to mix things up because going against Italians in the late game could be tricky. Uh, they also could, with the safe, uh, saved wood, uh, spend their time a little bit faster on the economy. And as you mentioned, Mamp, you have uh, stronger gem skulls. So that's really nice for them. Italians, oh, wait, there is a pause going on right now. I think so. Yeah. What happened? I don't okay, know. Okay, the pause is come now. Is there something bugged, I suppose? There are two goals. Has the So has the longest average game time at 46. Oh, that is the last person who wants to read that right now. <laughs> Oh my god. What's happening? I don't know. It feels like restart. Oh. Okay. Nilly's coming. And you will know exactly okay. what's happened. So what's happening here is that... <laughs> um, <laughs> Hola. Hola. Hello. Um, Come to us. So some people might have realized on the minimap that the gold spots were way closer to one of the two players. So we discussed it a bit with T90 Dave, we asked Andy as well, we asked Doubt, and we felt like by the rules it would not be an admin restart, but we felt it will have a very big impact on the game. And since we are still in Dark Age, we spotted it. I went inside, I didn't say who had the better map, I said one player I has an advantage with shorter distance towards the gold. Both players agreed to restart, and we think we will have a more fair game five. Awesome. Thanks. Makes totally sense. Thanks for the update, Nelly. And uh, yeah, when I was looking at the gold spots, you know, it was it was kind of thrown there, so it only makes sense there. And man, we want this to be as fair as possible because it is a and deciding it game. Even more. Exactly. That might be even more because you have only two gold piles. You don't have pads. We didn't pay yeah. attention because we were checking the civilizations, you know. Yeah. But you know, the observer and many people watching here, yeah. they can see it. Yeah. And uh, that's that's good because then now we can uh, time it better uh, again with talking about the civilizations. Shoals, here. and then we have Shoals. No Malians again. Let's go. Somali, oh, no Italians. Italians. Yeah. Okay. Uh, th that's fine. I haven't talked about Italians before, okay. but Italians is the typical water sieve, right? Because you have um, uh, how much percentage is it? The Italians, I'm not sure. We have Makers, Malians. Oh God, the the, produ the, the production is... <laughs> they oh no! <laughs> okay. Well, Malians is good. Okay, Malians, uh, Malians is good, is good right? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think Italians should be 50%, right? Let's let's go and check both. Now we check yes, both. Yes, it is. You know? 
Let me just and we compare. Uh, we can 30, compare. 32, oh yeah, we're 33. Yeah. Okay, 30. well, almost. It was 50%. It used to be, right? It was 50%. Yeah, yeah back in the days when yeah. I was uh, active, it was uh, 50. Um, no, but yeah, that, that's the reason why Italians is such a good uh, civilization here, because of the cheaper uh, technology, dock technologies here. So you can expand faster on, uh, on border. You can also fight for it much easier, because you have to uh, invest lesser resources. And uh, yeah, I mean, clearly a, a big advantage here if it's about the water. However, with Malians, you can do a lot of different shenanigans as they are a little bit more flexible. And uh, maybe Viper is going to utilize that. I, I think he has to map because if he's going straight for uh, post imp without any shenanigans on his uh, opponent, he could be behind there. Yeah, if we can zoom out here, uh, just here, Botka, zoom out a little bit, and we're going to see that. Uh, we say that this is arena like water, with water, sorry, because it's very easy to wall. To make a small arena, you have also gold and stone at the yep. back, yep. so you are safe. And the same way here, well, not as much here, because in front, as, as he saw it, it's kind of open, but well, you can make the buildings there. Some houses, market blasmith, palisade gate, yep. he has all at the back, he's fine. Yep. And uh, well, uh, then the, 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 the big amount of gold, is in the sides. Yeah. You know, so that's side. that's why it is such a crucial point of this map that the players try to focus on those two sides, and it is also a, a form from balancing act, right? Uh, how much do you invest into pushing one side? When do you expand with the TC? Do you not go for the TC on the side? Do you go for a castle right away? It's like there are so many different options. How much do you invest into water? This is such a hard thing to do in in terms of balancing. Something we want to uh, express as well is the relic amount is not five. In this uh, map, it should be around eight, nine, something like that. So it is really important to get access to the relics as well. Yeah, I think it's seven, no? Two, three, four, five, six, or well eight. Yeah, seven or eight relics. That's, that's quite a lot. Still, there's a lot of goals on the on, on the sides, uh, you know. A and here, what do you think is the better approach? Because it's kind of, you know, sometimes you see two extra TCs in your base. Sometimes you go right away for a TC on the goal and then a third one yeah. at home. Yeah, Might be dependent also if you're going to go stable and make some light cap, which is rarely happening. You know, you wall and go probably for the extra TCs and monks. Yeah. Uh, in terms of your question, I don't have the answer, honestly, because uh, it is so so complicated to find the best way to approach it. And uh, yeah, we maybe we have the answer after this game here, man, because we see uh, Viper going up for a way faster uh, time compared to his uh, counter uh, part here uh, in, in, in the forms of Tato. Uh, Tato is straight for Fast Castle. Mm, Viper is going for what? He doesn't have a barrack. So I suppose, yeah, there's a second dock being added. So he will go for the galley opening here, man. Okay, this is a really important game, but I will say that it's even more important for the Viper. Why do you think so, man? Because Tato won yesterday 3-0. Well, he won 3-2. 3-2 win and then losing 2-3 now, mm -hmm. it will be more and more complicated for him with the... With yep. what? Yep. I'm not going to say the word, you know, with the system, of the, the Swiss, you know, with the Buchholz. Uh, Buchholz, yeah. Uh, okay, no, it yeah, okay, it was no? almost okay, okay. Uh, as it's supposed to. Uh, it was okay. I, I don't even want to know how I pronounce the Spanish uh, word. Okay. What, what is the Spanish translation for Buchholz? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there is, is there? I, I, I don't, don't think so either. Uh, yeah. I don't think so. But, uh, but in that regard... Uh, for that reason, I think Viper needs this win a little bit more. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, it's very important for both, but yeah, I think it's more important for the Snake. For sure, for sure. Uh, right now, Viper, I don't think he will invest too much into uh, the uh, war units on, on water. Uh, should be two galleys uh, maximum, and then he will expand uh, with his fishing boats. No, he's only investing one, so he's playing this one very, very smart. Le very little investment with maximum damage and uh, play greedy. That's exactly how he's supposed to do it. However, there is a fire galley coming out here from uh, Tato and he is able to save all these fishing boats. So yeah. that's a little bit problematic for Viper. That's not what he oh was cool. hoping for, Look I guess. Look at the galley, how fast die against that tower, you know? I mean, the good thing also is that at least it's not working. The fish is not working here. As we were talking, stable. Stable for, for Tato. Playing yep. arena approach, a few scouts, into Lightcat maybe or, or or not, but he's like Arena. 
Yeah. And I like this table, honestly. It gives you map control. It gives you map control, and you can fight for the relics so much easier, right? So uh, that's very beneficial for for Tato here. We saw a quick wall by Viper, so that was uh, very clutch here as well. Thanks for pointing that one out, uh, Vodka. And uh, yeah, those two galleys are going to be pushed away from the fire galley. There was only one kill on the fishing boat, so Tato has done a good job. However, two fire galleys are going to hit the the ocean as well from Viper very soon, and he's going to be able to uh, push those uh, this fire galley away with the tower. This castle, this transition is so smooth, really, really fast for Tato. It's not that the Viper is Look at this quick wall. Uh. Oh, that's so hard to pull off, right? He's oh, uh, he deleted. Oh, oh, what, what, the what was that, man? I mean, man, seriously. This, this is just uh, Viper's territory, right? With the nah. quick walls, and uh, he's he's the best in doing so. There's just no one who's even close to to matching that. And Viper, oh, he was thinking about getting the last attack here on Tato Scout here, but he was not able to do so. And now, Tato able to push the Viper Scout away. And Viper, as far as I know, he doesn't have a stable, so. This could be a little bit problematic for him. It is. I mean, it is. And what is more problematic is that he's still not up to Castle Age. And population is ahead for the Viper, yes. Seven villages more. Well, it's not seven villages. It's actually four villages and then the fish. That he has double the fish. But in mind that now the Viper lose that fish. Because his opponent is coming and he's going to be with Fire Galleys. Well, Tato's resources are not the best right now. Mm, yeah, the, the thing is, Viper's resources after clicking uh, cast stage or upon reaching cast stage are going to be very healthy, I suppose. Yep. And Viper losing those two galleys for nothing is really painful for him. And he's going to be able to uh, save that fire galley as well. Two HP missing. Ooh. The tower is going to cause so okay, much damage. Oh, it. he got it, man. He got it. He got it. There is not a lot of navy there left. Only two galleys, one galley, and doing another now. I think Viper is going to be fine. He still need one minute and 40 seconds. Maybe he has to be careful there. He's not fully walled, uh, as far as I know. So he needs to uh, plunk down those oh. uh, walls as soon as possible, possible because there, in theory, could be light cuffs coming, right? He's playing very greedy. Uh, this scout has taken two units down already. I wonder what the second one was, because one was the scout for sure. Maybe a villager trying to get some walls in. Uh, that would be very likely. And uh, yeah. <sighs> Viper is still one minute away from, from cast stage. The good thing for him is that the feudal fire galley is uh, not much weaker than the cast stage uh, fire. So he, c he will be able to hold. He will be able to save those fishing boats, most likely. However, I, I honestly think both players are going to be happy with their situation right now. Okay, they are both going to be in cast stage in a moment. Well. Tato is already there, but he got a lot more navy. That's the good yeah. thing when you are going to slower, but you have the numbers. You doesn't, ma you don't care too much that you don't have the upgrades because you, well, you see, he has to go back. But that demo, Tato is coming, and he has now three galleys. Demo fire galley upgrade already. He has to be careful there. There's a TC on the goal. I like it. I like it a lot that he is doing already tone center there. Don't know what you think. Uh, absolutely, it will give you map presence, but map, there is a going to be a big fight here. Oh my god, he just got the demo before the upgrade, and now, now the map control is not for the Viper anymore. The timing, the momentum is here for the Spaniard. He's gonna take what? Now nah, he's going for the galleys. You don't want to go for the fish because you can take the fish later. Now he's coming with the scout, he got the spear, and the galleys are just down, and this is why the Viper canceled the upgrade. Yeah, it's the right decision, right? Because it would have been wasted resources. You're not going to be able to compete on water anymore. Uh, Tato has, you know, hit a beautiful timing attack here. And uh, it was so crucial for Viper to not miss that situation, but he did. And now the demo should be exploding. Oh, that Ooh, was a beautiful Beautiful, but, but all his low HP and didn't oh. kill it, you know? It's so annoying, man. That's annoying. The it's damage really output annoying. was there, but oh, uh, unfortunately it uh, didn't take any... Any kills here, and uh, Tato is just uh, removing here uh, this this uh, hurt units, and you know just just chilling. Let's check the Viper point of view. He's right now with three tone centers, as you can see, one in the middle, two at home, and with 49 population. Now he's gonna make the fourth TC. Yes, he is on the water with more percent Tato, but on the land. I will say that that's uh, already a nice advantage for the Viper. Mr. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I mean, uh, having that position on the side is going to be so beneficial as you're uh, forcing your opponent to react to that. 
uh, either by him pushing that or going to the other side here. And uh, I, I think economy-wise, it should be overall a little bit uh, better for for Tato as he had uh, the smoother uh, transition, I would say. Uh, uh, let's take a look at the resource collected. No, I'm completely mistaken here. Look at that. Uh, so much more for Viper. He got a lot of more fishing ships, like double yeah. Yeah. For, so, for so long, you know, and uh, he still have four alive. I don't know if he's really still taking the fish. So what he achieved, Tato, from having the water advantage and make the upgrade, he didn't achieve that much at yeah. the end. He killed the galleys, but... Well, if he still have four fishing ships alive, it's still four men. How is yeah. that even possible? I guess uh, Viper has done a great job at uh, hiding those fishing boats. <coughs> of course, their efficiency is not going to uh, be through the roofs here, but still, they are alive. They are doing some work here. And uh, Tato with three TCs right now, Sanctity incoming, Light Calf upgrading coming as well. So he is going to cruise very nicely. Uh, Tato. Uh, with three TCs and mm, Viper with four already, man. Four tone centers. Four tone centers, three at home, one in the middle. Ooh, this is the decider. Now the fish is going to be gone, but that fish already, well, they did the job already, as you can see. It's gone, and now, I mean, it's not going to be a fish boom. You got three TCs, you want to keep booming. But on the land, as you can see, Relic, Tato has already won. The Sea Tower is still alive, and... Uh, Another close, very, very, very close game that is going to go for Imperial. It is definitely or going not. to go for Imperial. There's no way it is not. And uh, both players with 56 units or villagers right now or economy units, uh, whatever you want to phrase them. And army size is 9 to 9 as well. So a uh, pretty close game. Uh, it kind of reminds me of game number one on Enclosed. Yeah. And then the longer the game goes, now we go back into the safe matchup. Oh. Very important. Well, this is good for, for Tato. He's going to pick already a village that was with food. So he's losing not only the village, but also the food that he was collecting. Ah, Monk is also down. He started to make some kills. No, KD, 18 Tato, 7 the Viper, and then Civilization. Advantage for who? <laughs> who? I, I have to deeply think about uh, how, which Civ I prefer here. But we don't have time. You need to be quicker. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, this is, you know, going uh, going crazy right now. Yeah. No, but I would say Italian should be a little bit better because with the Genoese crossbowman from Italians, you're completely uh, neglecting all the cavalry uh, options from uh, Malians and Farimba is very nice for them. Um, they also have, Italians have uh, cheaper it uh, gun gunpowder units as well. So I, I would go for Italians. This is yes. smoother. It, it is a smoother, little bit smoother. Right? They also have access to hussars. Yeah. So Ability. that is a nice uh, well, way of combining. So I, I have a lot of potential for Italians. Um, yeah, yeah. Light cats with Farimba for mobility is fine. Yes. They are pretty strong. You know, that you gonna, if you want to raid, you're going to raid with plus seven attack. So it's, yeah. it's fantastic as well. Yeah. I think it's all about the timing. And the timing that I see here now is that with 38 on foot, 38 on foot, and that, well, a little bit cheaper transition to Imperial. I see that the Viper is doing hand the card, okay. Well, just now, Will Barrow, is that not going to come in now in Castle Age? No, it is... Uh, it's lines. I guess for the Relic fight, it is currently 2-2-2. Two, two, two. If he adds Knights, that's what we have to focus on. If he adds Knights, then for sure it's going to be Castle Age play. But, uh, yeah, it, it's... Would it's be a surprise to go Knights, right? Knight, right? Yeah, for sure. You have sure. to be just the Lycan a, a little bit stronger. Yeah. Trying to get that Sea Tower. I don't know how important it is to take that Sea Tower down at this point. But uh, the Snake and Tatot, well, I don't know who is going to... Well, the Viper is still with 1,000 resources collected more. Scale Bardin Armor, I'm starting to think that this is going to be a castle approach. Because... Yeah. Very interesting that he's going for that, because his resources are kind of uh, uh, indicating that he wants to go in pre age and with forging, he's, uh, you know, uh, having a little bit of a slower timing there. We see a beautiful castle here by him. And I love... You know what I love uh, about this one, Memp? He has it a further away from Mortar. And we talked about it initially uh, when the game started. Italian's just much superior if we talk about the border play. And uh, water is very important on this map. So Viper has to play this one very strategically. Oh, man. And he actually will be the first one to go wow. up. Wow, really nice. We forgot to mention about the gold bonus for Malians. 
Yeah. That extra goal that you get, and if you're getting with more bullets, you can also balance your echo. The Viper didn't have the building, so he need to wait for that castle. Otherwise, why he's not up? Yeah, yes, like Imperial Age, and that's that. a real pity because look how close is now getting now tattooed with the 800 foot on something will go up as well. And you need to click up the Viper 1300 foot. You need to click up. I mean, and this so is important. a minute. This is a minute. That's so important. Yeah, it's a minute that he could be up already a minute. Yeah. Now tattooed is gonna click click up what 20 seconds 30 seconds behind nothing it's it's almost the same time right and it's uh, as you said it's it's kind of nothing and th there was a hold as well now for for Viper on the top so there were uh, three light caps uh, capable of going in there and we even see a fifth town center oh man by Viper oh he man. means business here he wants uh, to have this uh, go a little bit longer as well and he will fully focus on the land uh, side right now and uh, look at what he's doing scale boarding armor we will see most likely calf, Farimba calf. Um, interesting choice. Yeah. Infantry, now, will you make a castle now forward and second one for the Viper or one at home to avoid potential raiding? Because at some point you need to be safe at home or you really want to commit in that area. Remember that there's two spots that you need to conquer here to win the game. Like the two goals in the, in the two areas and the Viper is going on top to try to push from there. I, I was about to answer uh, th the forward castle makes more sense because he has the cavalry units, he has mobility. If Tato really was to raid him, he has the m units, the mobility to defend. With the castle, you really force your opponent to focus completely on that side because if you don't do that, you will lose your economy and lose the game. Thank you, Beitos. Nice gift for Tato. You don't have a lot of army and you are also giving that military for free for nothing is not what you want population that is ahead we are getting closer and closer to see who is going to win this amazing amazing series for sure he's also doing the castle at home so he's doing both he's going to be protected at home he doesn't want to get raided and probably he doesn't have a lot of visibility in the south can we see POV from the Viper to see if he sees something about Tatot well he don't even know that he has a castle there nothing so that's why he's doing the castle yep. and in front Chemistry right away. Oh, an 80% faster. That Upgrades. helps. Helps a lot to have the momentum. <coughs> that helps a lot. And uh, the good thing for Viper now is Constriction is incoming. Uh, Trebuchet should be in the queue very soon as well. And uh, he will push on the on the top with Bomber Cans most likely. They are a little bit more versatile, right? And uh, with the traps, uh, against eventual or potential bombard can or cannon galleons from uh, from the water uh, it could be dangerous so with the bomber cannons you have the flexibility you can uh, move around and dodge the shots there so i understand that that point here and uh, viper you know with 130 population right now and a lot of villagers he is feeling comfortable right now i yeah. suppose he's avoiding completely the water just look at the position of those castles right and uh, yeah he's yeah. from from the water because he doesn't want to be there you know that he's gonna be a uh, Problematic position. Population is still better for Tatot, but he has quite some of water. Not really. Well, five galleys, five fire galleys, two, two war galleys, and he's trying to raid. For now, he's not able to raid, and uh, it's still a 50 50 game because you check the score, and the Viper is getting closer. He is getting closer. I mean, with the five TCs, you're able to get a lot of villagers out on the map, and we will see the main focus is going to be on this spot here because. Tato cannot ignore what is happening right now because Viper is about to push. He has two bomber cannons, he has some Jabatos. Very interesting unit choice though because uh, I think the Genoese crossbowmen, they should shred those Jabatos. Um, and yeah, uh, let's see, there is one trap out alive as well. Uh, he's not really attacking the castle, is he? Oh yeah, he is. He is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is, but probably they are threatening, they are threatening the, the, the cover even more, right? So that's probably why he's picking the Gepetos. I mean, uh, it's a tricky position here for the Snake, which is going to be probably better if he's taking the castle. Oh, Mangonel is going to go infantry. No, it's just the Gepetos up. Let's see now. Let's see this battle. Mangonel, two bomber cannons. Are the Gepetos going to be good against those? Well, in a face-to-face, -face, they have a very high attack. They need the, the upgrades, and he's doing. This castle need to be down, Mr. Jordan. It's very important because all the farming is there. Yeah, and uh, it looks like uh, Viper is going to be successful in that endeavor, right? Because the castle is uh, closing on to zero HP here, so it will be taken down indeed. And now Viper is going to be able to get even more ground here on the top. And 
Ah, Tatun really needs to focus fully on this side because, <laughs> yeah, I, you have to, right? Cast, yeah. It's a bad cast in theory yeah. because it's on the edge. You uh, have a lot of uh, potential space not uh, covered by the castle, but you have to place it like that. The water, you have to avoid the water. Yeah, but yeah, and he doesn't want to bring even closer because there is still the, the water that is close. Okay, he's still taking more and more map. Population is still better for Tato. How is this possible? I don't know, but he's still going there. The score is about to switch, Jordan. It's about to switch. Is the Viper gonna be able to come back in this game? It's not that he was super, super behind, but the control was looking better for Tato than these Gebetos, as you mentioned, are melting against those units. Uh, it's very interesting, like, uh, Gebetos is not a uh, unit uh, I would have had in my mind at all. And you know what I would love at this moment right now, if Viper somehow manages to get onto border as well, because with, uh, with uh, fire galleys, you're going to be able to cause some damage here. Yeah. Okay. Bombard cannons. Now those Gebetos is going to be plus four, which is going to make them a lot stronger. Population is still lower, but he's still getting more and more map control. And I see also dot, some red uh, dot in the in the goal. Let's check fast there. It's reading a little bit. Ooh, that's going to be important. Taking some villages. It's still 140, so it's not a problem. But it seems that Tato has no answer to this, uh, Jordan. Tato has no answer whatsoever. Uh, I mean, he has still a very healthy population, yes, but it looks like in terms of army size, he doesn't really have the, the counter for it. And uh, we see the champion switch coming very soon, I suppose, oh, as well, man. because he has infantry units uh, upgrades, yes. Uh, we don't see supplies yet, so not yet, but it is always a potential he can go for, right? Yeah, well, he's just probably for the Gevator, right? So it's fine, he has now a little bit stronger uh, armor, a chain bar and armor. I think if he's doing Gebetos, Bomber Cannons, and also send those Farimba lighters can be insane. Let's see now, because it's very important. The season's oh gonna go no. down. Oh man, he's needed this, he's needed this, he's needed this. Jordan, Jordan, Jordan. The Viper need to lose that many Bomber Cannons. I'm not sure about this move by the Snake. Oh, this was very disastrous for the Viper here. I mean, he loses everything, absolutely everything, man. Lost four Bomber Cannons. The three traps are very uh, close to dying as well, but he gets reinforcements here, so maybe he's able to save those trebuchet. No, they go down. He's taking two down, not bang on Alisa about to be down. No, he's saving as well. He's still sending more army, but he's losing a lot. He's losing a lot, and that castle now with one trap is not gonna be down. What happened there? I, I guess it's Viper focused. Yeah, I guess Viper focused on a different uh, spot uh, at the wrong pos uh, at the wrong time, right? Because it was such valuable units here, and Tato successfully managed Hi. to hold or withstand the push from Viper. And now Viper has to go back and uh, think about his next push again because he was Tato. ahead in the score. Look at the score. It's like, insane. He, he it's lost insane. so much. He lost, he lost a lot. so much, right? Really, look at the KD. Yeah. The KD is 114 Insane. to 58. He lost absolutely everything there. Well, the Viper keep going. It's similar village number. He also have one relic more. But the, the army now from Tatu is kind of scary because now it's not Genoese. It's hand cannoneers. Yeah, and uh, what do you do here against the uh, hand cannoneers? You have to go for full uh, cavalry play in order to... Uh, oh, hand cannoneer fight. yourself. You could go for as that well. as well. Yeah, yeah. You know, better than Gebetos, probably. I mean, they are faster, you know, but uh, they have more range. Uh, it's about the range. range there. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'm a little bit surprised by the Gebetos, yeah. Um, the bomber cannons go down again, man, and this looks like Tato is getting a bigger and bigger advantage here. We can also uh, see this being reflected by the score here. And, ah, okay, that's the reason for the Gebetos. Now we have the answer. Uh, they're very strong against those uh, navy units. Okay, he's taking those. There is two monks. He's trying to convert something, but they're gonna take the galleys. Look at those. He's killing all them. Oh my they're, god. They're, they're ruthless, they right? Man, Absolutely they're ruthless. They're wrecked. They're now he's coming now with the light gas. Though, like, are plus four. The bomber cannons trying to kill the, the range units, but it's not a note. Played by the armor. Third bomber cannon. Trebuchet which is also there. The game is stabilized. The game stabilizes. <laughs> Ow. It. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, he is already cooking. <laughs> Oh, oh man! God, yeah. Well, they might be doing the draft probably. They they are ready to rumble for the next series, but this is still not over. Crazy series, Mr. Jordan, as we expected, very very close. But in this one, hmm, in this one, it's Piper able to, to to win in the late game because in these two series, in the late game, Tato won. He won, and I also think he has the better civilization here uh, compared to 
Viper. The good thing for Viper is he has a little bit more map control yeah. on the side, but still no water access, right? So uh, it feels like Tato will always have a little bit better uh, possibilities in terms of maneuvering. Uh, and uh, Tato has a very strong army right now. Very strong. A lot of hand cannoneers. The uh, Legionese cam Ooh. coming in as well. That oh kind man. of nullifies the cavalry play by by Viper totally. And there is elite Jabatos incoming as well. So, what what is the the perfect way to play this one as uh, as the Malian player? I'm really I'm really worried for him. I don't know, but what I see from the Viper is 60 farmers. Well, Tato does 20, 28. You know, it's double the farmers. I don't know if this is going to be a note for the lo for the long game. Uh, it's not 200 population for for the Viper and the elite game. Oh, these bomber cannons! Oh my God, these catch up those, but those are demos as well. Tato is on point here. He's cleaning all this and he's now coming with a lot of farming. He's gonna try to make a counter attack. He's ignoring the Viper in the north and going to Viper base. Oh my god, how you stop that on, on, on the Viper base? We'll send in some light because the bomber cannon. Oh, he missed it. But no, no, no. Is he still going to kill the, the, the light caps? It's Might take maybe one bomber cannon. Maybe. Not even. There you go. All down. Oh my is, god. It is so crucial for the Viper that he spotted that. Yeah. And now the question is how does he react to that? He, in theory, could push on the top because the army is out of position. But I guess he doesn't really have the units to do so. So, uh, also loses a bomber cannon here against uh, the bomber cans from Tato. So, it is very tricky, and Ooh. it's all about maneuvering now. Okay, he's committed now. He's committed now. Look at the light cast he has. They are not with Farimba, I believe. And they have the numbers. He's going to take the bomber cannons here. Now he can push. Now he can push. He's going to take so many units. And if he's coming now with the seats, that castle will be down. But in the south, if we can switch it really quick, Mr. Botka, look at the destruction here by Tato. This, I mean, who's going to make more damage there? Uh, this is so hard to assess. I think Viper's army is not as strong as Tato's is. However, the good thing is, uh, it feels like Tato's push is not as lethal as uh, Viper's here, so it is really hard and it could also be a kind of a base uh, base trade situation here, <laughs> man. switch it now, oh my god. Well, he's repairing the castle, but when he killed that castle, what he has the Viper to defend? Because here, at least, mm, Tato does something. Well, Tato does nothing either here. What's going on? They, they are switching bases and the wing. They are going rotated, rotated in it, the map, and we keep going. It kind of, it kind of looks like Look that. At the farmers. It, it kind of looks like it, and the the good thing for Viper is he has almost two thousand stone in the bank. Oh man, you can repair forever. This is two hundred population almost for the Viper. Tatot cannot because he's housed now. He's gonna take the relics. He's gonna take the relics. Seven relics to zero, and. Uh, the Viper seems to be now in a position to get back into the game. I mean, if people was thinking that maybe he's not behind, he is behind, or he was looking behind here. It's true that the map control has been looking okay for him the whole the whole game. Yeah, I feel like his push is just a little bit better, and uh, having so much stone in the whole your bank is just so so good because you are going to uh, deny the forward push from your opponent for such a long time. Well, here? In the meantime, you lose ooh. all the economy, right? Yeah, well, Tato still have killed more villages. Now it's, ooh, ooh, the gold miners. Let's see this push because now the, the Genoese cross woman need to die, but he's gonna take it or not. It's, I mean, the, in theory, those Genoese kill everything from, from the vibrator he has. But the Gepettos are doing such a good job here. And it yeah. feels like Ooh, there are so many... I mean, man, the, the, the game is so action-packed right now. There's so much uh, fights are go uh, happening at the same time. And it's really hard to, to, to make a judgment here who has the lead. Yeah, also for Botka, I feel bad for the Observer because he's going to the left, to the right. He doesn't know where to look because we don't know where to look as well, right? Absolutely. It's, it's crazy. And now it's coming finally to this area. Are both players going to be out of goal? Because now when he's trying to attack, he's coming around, he has some Galleons. But how do you stop this army? This army? How do you kill this army if you are the Viper here? What do you do? The good thing, the relics are gone, even if you are not taking. But Tatot is not taking all for the relics. The, the relics are gone, yes, but Ooh. he will be able to recover that. And man, he killed the push from Viper. Look at the score. He has such a huge lead. Look at the population. He has such a huge lead in that regard insane. as well. Really And insane. if we talk about sheer unit quality, 
it's just in Tato's favor, right? So it's so tough for, for Viper to make something happen right now. Um, his resources are not looking too healthy as well. We see another engagement coming in. Let's see this engagement because this can be the game. This can be the last one. This can be the last one. And then Tato might take the 3-2 against the Snake. It's possible to happen. We will we'll see. But mm, this is not the note Gebetos, I believe. He has Galleons supporting those hand cannoneers and the lead genoese the bomber cannons need to go back because the galleons got the range more range than the cannons and the population is still stabilized a little bit the vipers still have 2000 stone in the bank but the problem is that okay he's cleaning here but uh, oh, tato, tato is army not reacting Ooh, tato is losing moving. so many units so many what's happening like the viper oh. before now tato whoa and this, this can snowball so hard right now because he lost so many uh, expensive units here. So, uh, ma'am, this is kind of a repeat of uh, Fortified Clearing. Yeah. Back and forth all the time. All the time. Uh, that he has Farimba. Can, can we check the light cap, Mr. Bot? No, he does not. No, he not. doesn't have the mind. Those with plus five attack yeah, extra. That's My goodness. That's crucial. Would be insane. I mean, they will take the Bomber Cannons much easier in those engagements, yeah. but yeah. the Genoese are cleaning everything they are cleaning everything uh, the light cap are just going to be destroyed uh, immediately and uh, viper has to retreat right because he, he just cannot uh, engage against that army and he has to try to shift the focus onto the south side uh, try to raid on different uh, spots here but it's so tough on this map because there's so much stone you can gather as well uh, meaning you have access to more uh, castles uh, preventing the raiding and I love what Viper is doing now. He needs to get the water control Otherwise, there's no chance he can uh, make anything happen on this game. Okay, but uh, Is he doing the fast fire ship or something? No, it's not right. So he's just he with be. the metal. He's doing the assault dogs Okay, and now he's doing the war galley upgrade. So he's gonna go for for oh, it. He's doing the finally Archie ranges I mean, why not hand cannoneers? We were talking about that. I don't like understand that as well Yeah, the uh, hand cannoneers is the unit. He definitely needs to add to his uh, repertoire right now Also, we didn't see any infantry other than the Gebetos and probably champions there are better I mean, they don't have the range But if you mass the same amount of Gebetos or better say the same amount of infantry that Gebetos he got with the plus seven yeah. It's complicated, it's, you know? It's very complicated. Uh, very the complicated. Gebetos are uh, so good against the uh, Navy units, so I understand that point. However, they seem to be a little bit fragile against uh, the Genoese crossbow and against the hand cannoneers, so uh, it, it's it's really, really tough. Okay. Still now, fast fires is for, for Tato. 200 population all the time. The Viper is struggling to get there. Does he have the, the houses even to get the 200 pop? Siege was up in front. And now more raiding with the Genoese. He wallet and those Genoese are going to be in danger, but they are fully abraded, so they should be just fine and gonna take more damage. And now even cavalry for Tato. They might now doing hussars. Oh. Yeah, yeah. And this is the strongest combination the Italian player can go for. His farm economy doesn't look that healthy, ma'am. So he needs to add more on that. He has a healthy amount of food, but that's going to be depleting. Uh, very very quick if you produce hussars, but the push on the north side from Viper is not really big and the push from Viper uh, from from Tato on Viper space in the main is a huge one yeah. You have to respect that one, otherwise you will die. Oh, but the bomber can Oh, bomber cannot die. He's gonna snipe the siege. There is a trebuchet that he can use. It is still 1,700 stone. And now Tato is losing the bomber. No, he not is now, but he's bringing also a treb and another extra bomber cannon in the south. He's gonna take it or not? Not really. Fast fire ship already there. And the Viper is still with almost 200 population. Who is winning this game? Well, for what the score say, it looks like it's gonna be Tato, but. The Viper is not giving up, not at all. He's not giving up, and especially at this stage of the game, you know, a score doesn't mean anything anymore. And uh, yeah, it's just about position on the map. Yeah, let's see, let's see that battle because I think he's trying to snipe the the, the trebuchet, but there's two bomber cannons. Oh man, he's enabled both. By the way, don't have siege engineer, yeah. so it's even in that regard. Yeah. And uh, Bomber Cannon is shooting. Well, who is losing the Bomber Cannons here is gonna definitely stop the push. Oh, my, more Bomber Cannons. Cheaper Bomber Cannons. And cheaper Bomber also Cannons. Also for Italians. Exactly. And uh, Tato is just doing such a good job here at uh, pushing. Uh, it is so tough against Viper to play in those kind of scenarios, but it feels like Tato has all the answers he, he needs and he is, you know, defense on the top as well without uh, any issue as well. And 
uh, all the focus and all of a sudden has uh, been shifted to Viper Space and that's not what he wanted. Yeah, I need more bomber cannon. That trebuch is going to be down. Farimba! 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 In my opinion, 20 minutes later than what he needed because how many light has he has been sending during the whole game? A lot. Yeah. Really, really a lot. And right now has 15. I mean, he's plus five. It's a huge Extra. thing. Extra. Yeah. Plus five in like having the whole blast with exactly. upgrade, you know, like complete, you know. So they, they, they kill much faster everything in the engagement. Viper, however, he has gotten a little bit of uh, units on water, so he's going to be able to uh, kill the trebuchet with the fast uh, fire ships. Well, he got the water. He In the middle, the he got the water back, you know. Ooh. Depend on the boom, make it the boom. Oh, just look how many things are happening that Tato didn't notice that one, you know. Yeah, it's so hard, right? In the, in the middle, there's... Uh, oh, that's only... crucial. That's crucial. The fast fire is going to be able to take it. No, because Tato has another, and they are microing so many things at the same time. Mr. Jordan, so many things, and now bomber cannons in the other side as well. Yeah. My, yeah, it, it, it kind of looks like a <laughs> Tauta is stretching himself. <laughs> Tauta is stretching, yeah, in front of us, you know, to let us focus completely with the casting. Look at the Gebetos, bomber cannon is gonna clean the push, but he stopped the push. I mean, you check the population, and it's still a lot more army for Tato, but he stopped the push at home, but now Tato is cleaning this area. It's still, both players got, got one goal. They have one goal? One goal yeah. area. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, both of them still have a lot of gold in the bank. Uh, a lot of bomber cans have gone down in this uh, engagement here for both players. Uh, no heavy plow yet for, for Viper. Do you think man, oh, that wow. could uh, cost him uh, the, the game eventually if it becomes not about gold? It's not totally heavy plow. Good. It's that also not crop rotation. So he's missing the two farm average. Well, his yeah. opponent has already. Yeah. That's quite a lot of food. Just look at the resources for Tato. Yeah. Check the resources he has right now. He can do absolutely everything except gold. The Viper guy has no resources at all. And it's, like, it no, it's not like he's having right now 50 light gaps in the queue, you know? His production is at the limit right it, now. It is at the limit, and also he's very pop capped as well, right? Down to 870, um, can maximum produce 180, so that is a big bummer for him as well. Um, he has a little bit of water control there still, yes, uh, but I don't see a way how he can defend on the top. And man, he is forced to go for skirms. Yeah. You don't want to go skirms. But this battle, Malians. this battle, this amount of army here from Tatot, maybe he's doing the upgrade for the least skirmishes and he's not going to be even in time to use it. This is huge amount of army here coming with those you know, East Cross bombers. Hand cannoneers, bomber cannon, and he's trying to get this area. If he's getting this area, that's it. The, that's it's the game. It is definitely this going is the goal to be the game. The here. Exactly, and that's where uh, Viper's main economy is going to be it. So, yeah, uh, it's, it's really... Looking very bad for for our uh, uh, Novision player here right now. Uh, he still has some bombard cannons to maneuver around, so his gold economy looks healthy, no question about that. And uh, the faster gathering rate from Malians is not going to be bad in this kind of situation. However, the timing and the momentum amp, not sure if you ha heard this uh, saying before. I don't know who is who's telling this so Spaniards. often, man. My goodness. With those Gebetos with the bomber cannons and so on. You have to be careful here, the Viper. You don't want to... Yeah, the infantry, man. The infantry. The champions are <laughs> really, really good here. But you need not 10 or 20. You need a lot more. That's for sure. You need a lot more. They are so tanky. It's going to be in time. I'm not sure if it's going to be in time. 146, 146 population, 177. Yeah, you see how he's moving himself, the Viper, and he doesn't feel comfortable at all, Mr. Jordan. He does not, and uh, honestly, how could you in this kind of position he is in, right? Uh, he's plummeting down in uh, population, 144 against the almost 200 from Tato. Tato still with a beautiful army uh, pushing forward. He loses one bomber cannon. Ooh. Second one is about to be killed as well if he's he has not many. paying attention. He has many coming, he has oh. many coming, he has many coming. The Viper is trying to clean, but he lost two himself, and now he's losing all the bomber. All the Gebeto is losing everything. The bomber cannons are going down, and the population one more time is dropping. Dropping a lot, the Viper in the late game today Insane. is losing three times against Tatot in a very similar Ins situation. In insane. Um, and and we, we have to talk about it, right? Because Viper is known to be the best death in this situation. In, in these kind of situations, the best uh, in privilege player. However, Tato really showed today that he can keep up, not only keep up, he can also win against Viper in these kind of situations. And this is uh, this is crazy. Yeah, that's the replay for 
And he doesn't that like move my comments. Quite Whoops. a lot. And now, <laughs> keep coming. 133 population, 200 pop for Tato. And the map control doesn't lose that healthy anymore for the Viper, definitely. Hassas are also coming. How important are the civilization choices, Mr. Uh, it How is important are as well, you know? It is but so important. You think he should have done something else, the Viper? But well, we can talk about that when, when it finishes. If it finishes, but. It's getting closer and closer. Now he's going to build here, which is very, very important. He's with Barra. Is he going to go Kondo Thierry? It looks like that. Uh, we, we, at this point, uh, you were asking what can he do different. Uh, it, it's, it's tough. Uh, with Marlins, I think he has done everything he could have, but it feels like Italian is just a little bit stronger here. And uh, we, we can just acknowledge uh, the performance both players have shown today and just appreciate what we have witnessed because this is, uh, you know, very, very, very high level. Yeah. 6,000 score difference. Death Castle is going to be down. And l I really believe that after this castle going down, and if he's also dropping those relics, or prediction, Mr. Jordan, for a 3 2 for Tato, is going to be accurate. Really, really accurate. Because we know it. The Spaniard is just taking this game. 130 population, 200 pop. He's going to finish or not? because the Viper is doing another castle at the back. I mean, he has the stone, right, yeah. for it. However, it looks like uh, Doubt Castle as well. Nope. He's just losing so much population. We have Ooh. 128 against the 200 from Tado. And at, at this point, you have to ask yourself, what can you do in order to come back in this game? And I think his answers to this are very limited. Yeah, well, he's killing the traps. That's a very good start for sure. You need to take the siege. But Condotiris are coming. The Condotiris are coming. If there's some gun power units, it's going to be definitely great. And now the Viper has 77 villages. This is just impossible. And this is GG call. Tatot with a brutal win in this series. And look at this. Look at Insane this. Insane performance Insane. by Tato. Insane, Insane. performance. Per Tatot, that is the winner. What a series, Mr. Jordan, from both players. But Tatot in the late game, winning Scary. the Viper. Scary. You know, that was where, you know, in the, he always got comfortable, right? But yeah. Uh, yeah. that Tatot feel even more now. Huh? Beautiful uh, execution from both players. Uh, and, uh, you know, man, we kind of expected uh, this set to go game number five.